And now we see Burgundians here and Saracens is going uh, to be played by Tato when oh. we expected Aztecs. Yeah, seriously, we expected Aztecs to get Aztecs getting 33% more gold per relic. But we have a crazy game on our hands here. We have a crazy series. It is not Mr. 7-0 for you memers out there. It is Mr. 3-2 for yo. Every <laughs> single series has been 3-2. He won the first two 3-2 and he lost the last one 3-2. He apparently, he, I remember he immediately asked me, as Tats has got to finish this house here. Uh, after a series concluded, did you cast my series? And I said, no. He just said, oh, and then walked away. And then he later asked Dave, Dave, did you cast my series? Mm -hmm. Dave said, no. And Yo says, that's why I lost. So apparently, <laughs> yeah, true, true. apparently Yo feels like maybe myself, maybe Dave give him luck. So I'm not sure if you give him luck at all, Nilly, <laughs> but I'm happy to be casting with you. <laughs> uh, apparently not. And yeah, Yo, the only one together with Winchester, completely going to distance. Yep. Every single map played so far. Winchester made it 20 out of 20 earlier this morning. And Yo, well, ideally wants to avoid it. And I got asked about predictions in this one. And to me, it feels like absolutely everything is possible. I'm not ruling out a 3-0 for Mr. Yo. I'm also not ruling out a 3-0 for Tedo. Absolutely, yeah. I feel like if they're both bringing their best, we will see that fourth or fifth game. So Burgundians, a civilization we've seen on the more closed maps, and this version of Graveyard is quite open. So Yo already working with his Feudal Age Eco upgrade and the, with the, uh, from the Lumber Camp, excuse me, so that's good. But I wasn't expecting it, though I can see it working quite well. If you're expecting a lot of monks, uh, the light cab upgrades cheaper, stable upgrades in general are cheaper and it's a bit easier. But Tato Saracens here, Nilly, what are you thinking? The thing is, Tato, he probably wants to use the market quite heavily, right? It is cheaper, plus you get better trade rates in that market. And therefore, well, we see people going for it, buying food, selling the stone, maybe being on gold a bit as well. And you simply generate those resources a bit faster. Archer plays also an option. Tato knows, if I allow you to all your eco upgrades, if I allow you to multiple relics, it will be really tough for me. I'm expecting massive aggression from Tato. In okay, reach. so so Tato had also teased that there was a second strategy that he had mm -hmm. that, he, that hasn't been seen or shown. Early DE, Tato was Saracens. He would go to gold. Everyone would expect archers. Mm -hmm. He'd go early yeah. market. Mm -hmm. He'd buy and sell things, get a lot of food, and go scouts. I think we're past that point because it was very much at a time where people assumed a lot more. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in the off chance he does it, Nilly, I want to look like I know something. <laughs> yeah, it's also like kind of a GL special, right? That's what doubted against Leary and KOTD and yep. completely caught Leary of guard there. Suddenly, like, wa completely walled, went into like nine scouts there in Feudal Age. Will be certainly interesting. And. This is an easy archer build. It could be scouts because we only have one single on berries. Kind of indicates archers to me, though. Yeah, yeah. And, and archers is, is the norm. Uh, he's got a decent base to wall up, at least to the right of the barracks, to the wood line, and from that wood line to the edge of the map. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not wrong, I don't think we've had any real scouting here from Yo. He doesn't know Tato's opening. And uh, he's probably on the way right now. I would assume Yo's going to go scouts himself. There's Tato. Doesn't know exactly what Yo's going to do. And Yo is on the move as well. Yeah. Yo, not on gold at all, so can only be scouts or skirmishes. Skirmishes for the How many defense. pigs are we going to see get stolen out from under a TC in this tourney? Uh, like, come on. Oh, come it could on. Be one. Come no, on. He sends the village out. He was oh. aware. Nice move. <laughs> oh, wait, he got one. No, oh. not for too long. No. Fighting back. Okay. All right, so nothing too crazy there for Yo. Stables on the way up. Tato probably assuming this. And there you have it for Yo. He's also trying to scout. He'll see the barracks. Normally next to that, you'll see the military building from Tato. And it is a stable. Mm -hmm. And I like the stable opening. I don't even think you need to be that crazy with the market. I just like it because if you play into camels with the Saracens, they have extra HP on those camels. And no one really talks about that. We will be crazy with the market, though, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't have four, four villagers on gold. On gold. Yep, yep. So very likely to see now there is building the market right now as we can see at the mini map there and yeah that just means I'm honestly I w can't rule out double stable here double stable interesting yeah and maybe Tato will have to assess the situation just see what the investments like from Yo because he will know that Yo is likely going to be walling slowly here but Tato is falling forward with his military and we'll see the stone <laughs> sold and all that food purchased and it maybe double stable nearly or maybe even another extreme where you just head up towards Castle Age. What 
Five scouts being built. Not completely unlikely, right? And Mr. Yo, he has to invest in those scouts. He's already investing into two eco upgrades. Could have been four by now, could have been five by now. Yep. And now doesn't really know where Tato is coming from. That's why he goes for the range upgrade. And there you called the second stable. There is a second stable there from Tato, and he's hidden it. Ooh. And now it's a question of will he be able to find damage because Yo's base layout is looking a little bit nicer. Do we have bloodlines queued up? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, we did. Queue. This is so sick, dude. It's been so long since I've seen this from Tato. Mm. Normally, it's just archers with the Saracens. Get hyped, people. And yo, it's like he knows something's up. He's like, I, I spoke to Vivi. I spoke to this guy. I faced up against this a million times. Yeah. I know this guy. And one of the benefits of yo as a player, I know a lot of players here play a lot of games. Mm -hmm. Yo, like, lives and breathes Age of Empires. Like, he is watching games more than most pro players. He's playing games most than pro most pro players so he will know tendencies and have a sense for these things more than anyone look at how he's not taking any chances he walls everywhere in front of the town center five scouts at home double spearman he walls with five villagers right now four at the front one at the top and Tado, he will do this very heavy investment and only run into walls yeah uh, potentially i think there's going to be one tile here no yo still with two villagers walling up and that is a tree blocking that, so it's not open. I'm looking for holes. I don't see any. Tato now is going to be like, oh, man. Uh, on the bright side for him, he is walling up right now as well. It looks like he's fully walled. But, yeah, yo, it's almost like he knew about this. So Tato will get map control. Can still get to Castle Age at a reasonable time. But it, it's not really paying off, right? Maybe he considers going, like, Camel Light Calf. Yep. Because Burgundians, obviously, then... Shouldn't get a lot of relics. Yeah, I like I like Camel Light Cap, absolutely. Um, and you, I think value from the extra scouts is still going to be present throughout the entire game. Bloodlines will be helpful here. There are spearmen for Yo, though, so Tato has to split off there. And this is pretty good for both players. A couple nice hits for Tato, like right there he'll get a kill. But I don't think Yo's hating his position right now after seeing Tato's investment. Mm -hmm. Nice micro by Tato here for sure. Crazy how there's only one single kill from this. Yeah. One zero KD. Now, the thing that's a little deceiving here, viewers, we have resources collected at the bottom right. When the market's used, it it adds resources but doesn't subtract any, right? So I would imagine right now that the resources brought in is possibly a little bit closer to even mm -hmm. than that suggests. The Burgundians are working with the wood upgrade, especially from Castle Age. But uh, Tata's food count's looking great here, Nilly. 400 food, even though he created more scouts and research bloodlines. Yeah, not unlikely that in 30 seconds after Weaver finishes, he clicks up to Castle Age. Should be a bit faster for him. Mr. Yo only now going on to gold. That will take some time. Yeah, that and uh, lots of wood in the bank. I mean, banking it up is nice, but ideally you're putting that into farms. So I'm really liking this position for Tato right now. Yeah, and he won't get great prices. Right, Tato already selling wood. Yep. And yeah, it's 91 for Tato, but he has the way better rates. Yep. Mr. Yo only gets 60 for that. Absolutely. I, that's what's beautiful about this strategy. The fact that it had the potential to kill Yo early, mm -hmm. but it still has great uh, meaning throughout the rest of the game here on Graveyards. Sweet. It's so much better than if you were to try it on Arabia, Nilly. It, it seems like the best spot for this strategy is here on Graveyards with 11 relics. Yeah, I think so as well. But also we have to let, take a look at the minimap. Look at five relics within like walking distance. Right? <laughs> it's so close. Like that's <laughs> the furthest away relics from the five that I was talking about. Two here, one in the base. And it's like the sixth one is looking really good. That's a fortunate spawn for Mr. Yo to get. Yeah. Maybe five, maybe six relics. Walking distance is an interesting way to say it. <laughs> we see monks walk to the other side of the map very frequently. Uh, yeah. And I don't even think these guys have real shoes, but uh, I see what you mean, right? It's like right next to Yo's base. And Yo's uptime should be half decent here. And the benefit for him, of course, even though Tato is faster to the next stage, Tato doesn't have archers. So Tato can't really break through the walls for a while. What I meant is you don't need to build a siege tower to send the monks across I the map. Can you imagine if you could actually do that, though? Like, monks can all already be obnoxious, but mm -hmm. if you could toss 10 monks in a siege tower and hop in and out you all can't? the time. No. Oh, that's too sad. <laughs> well, what about rams? Neither, I assume. That, you you right. mean siege tower in a ram? No. <laughs> or a ram in a siege tower? <laughs> Full inception mode. <laughs> no, you can't put monks inside rams either, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Uh, but you could uh, you could fit. There's a lot of funny things like that, like how you can fit five war elephants in a transport ship, but only five villagers, and the size is completely different. So mm -hmm. I don't know how, like, a monk 
can't go into a siege tower, but it's probably for balance reasons. Hmm. Maybe Noah came up with some balance yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Light calf and Husband Dream, so we'll be fast. Scouts now on the map. And Mr. Yo actually attacks into Costier. Yeah, I mean, it's a unit that he has loved ever since they've been introduced. Mm -hmm. It's a civilization that he's loved, and I like this a lot, right? Because you know the camels are going to be out there. And the beauty of the, the Coustier or Coustelier, I don't even know how to say it yet. I think it's either, let's just say. Both. Both, Both correct. Thank you. Um, honestly, the beauty of it is that initial attack has quite a jolt. In fact, viewers, I encourage you when we get back to the draft screen to look at the little hippo animation. It's got that little jolt animized mm -hmm. or, or animized or placed there on the, the image. But anyways, um, the point is, is even though it's a cavalry unit, which should be countered by a few camels mm -hmm. or even monks, it can get a lot of damage done, which means the monks can die right away, and even the camels could die early on. Look at that. Like there, There's so much happening right now. Tedo is adding CA, going camels, double monastery, and moves out to the gold. Yeah. Like He's so that's confident that Yo is not properly going farming. Yeah, that's a lot. And, and if the castle goes up in a safe position here, this could be too much investment for very little reward. Let's see if this house will go down. But where do you build one castle? It's right still there. way too open. Yeah, but the right-hand side is where you'll get all the gold, where you get your wood. Like, this is so harassable. Yeah, that's true. I, I wonder if Yo's going to drop a TC on that side. Uh, he did place a lot of house walls on the vulnerable right-hand side. And, yeah, so Town Center there doesn't fully protect the gold, but Tato doesn't have great Cav Archer upgrades anyways. <laughs> not, so. not great, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that Cav Archer gets away on one HP there. Okay, good enough. Now the big question, like how many relics will Tato get? There's still some that he has no business in contesting. Mm -hmm. You always obviously get the ones on his side, but now scouts are coming over. Can we see conversion? Great job there from Tato. He doesn't get the conversion, but he doesn't lose his monk. But economically speaking, I am a little worried for Tato currently. Uh, he doesn't have the second town center yet. He doesn't have that many farms. And past a certain point, the market prices, even with the Saracens, aren't really exciting me, right? But so you do need to rely on a strong economy. Yeah, he will get lots of relics, which is nice. Both players having one right now. Let's be reminded that Mr. Yo is also getting food with those relics. Yeah, a little bit of food trickle. I like that from Tato. Like have there on the monk, uh, relic, rather. And Tato paying attention to his monks. Would have liked to have seen Yo keep some of those scouts alive and get Light Cap. I think that's maybe the only thing I could be critical of. I know there's a lot of army for Tato, but the Light Cap upgrade is very cheap with this Ziv. He's building more scouts now. Okay, I like it. So maybe he tries to go for that. Camel's still around as well. And clearing up this. Yeah, it just feels like we're going into a relatively stable game. Second Town Center for Tato as well. We'll get all those relics and I will just go for a wild prediction. Should be around like 6-5 for Tato. Yeah. I really want to see Mamelukes in this game. I'd just mm -hmm. like that to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> Mamelukes are an amazing unit, and I feel like they can be quite good against what the Burgundians can send out, right? Mm -hmm. It's normally cavalry and infantry. But they do have the gunpowder too, but yeah, if anyone it. was going to do it, Tato would do it. It still just comes back to the economy for me right now. Yeah, mobility obviously with camels pretty nice, but if you feel okay, Burgundians can mix in some harbadiers, then those Mamelukes just shrek them before the harbadiers can even close the yeah. distance. Yep, absolutely. Look at this light cap. That light cap was attacked by a knight not too long ago, mm -hmm. and he's looking to see if there's a monk heading over there. Yo, hoping to secure more gold over there, so thinking of placing some houses. Ted but plays 4TC. Tato plays 4TC. Whoa, he's been on two for the longest to go for four town centers now. It's crazy. I don't think he's going to have the food income to keep those TCs running here, Nilly. Yeah, well, he needs to buy with seven on food. It certainly won't be enough. Rough rule of thumb, have six farmers to keep one TC running. Yeah, here they come. Yo's the master at this, defending with the buildings, playing economically, and then going in to raid the eco. He immediately runs back. The units kind of repositioned there, but thankfully for him, Tato doesn't get any conversions. That could have been four. Second castle on the way for Yo already, and he will stick with two TCs for quite some time. That monk won't make it home. Tedo still trying to defend. Still two relics up for grabs. And Tedo, light calf next to both of them. I don't like how that's not a light calf. If that's a light calf, I believe that monk's going down. However, Tato, he actually healed up with three of those monks on the initial monk. And now Yo feeling confident enough to go in here, but he's, he's too far. He has to do it. I don't love it. He's only killed one monk so far. He's lost two units. 
And that was a costly investment for Yo. Oh man, and that was tricky, right? That he committed there, the conversion's already far away. Maybe he thought that all those four monks were converting the scout before, but Tedo, nice micro, still two still had monk juice. I think you're right, Nelly. I think that explains the, the decision making there from Yo. Mm -hmm. He is still massing a lot of units. Again, husbandry could come in. I'm not sure Yo has it. It is cheaper for him. Yeah. And man, do those units eat. Both players already touched country. I'm pretty sure that I saw it at different points there. Tedo very early on. Okay. And Yo followed it up as well. And Tedo doesn't want to fight the Scorsier. Two monks down. Yeah, no conversion there. And now this is the unit that Yo wants to win the game with. Tato's got a mix. He's got two units he converted, three cav archers, five camels, and eight light cav. It's not a real long term army comp. And it's also not a real long-term economy for Tato, who has over four minutes of TC idle time and growing. He needs something more. Yo still has seven on stone. Not impossible that the third TC, uh, the third castle will be really aggressive. Right now he has the map control. Yeah. Does Yo have a... You know how Viper has the castle on hills as his mm -hmm. description for the, for the little stat screen? Yeah. Does he have a forward castle in late castle no. age on his? We reserved that for someone else. Didn't qualify though. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we're talking about castles that complete Nilly. So okay, then just say your stats, maybe. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, seriously, I mean, that's Yo's MO. And oh, goodness, I feel like there's some weird trap potential here. No villagers outside, right? Yeah. He had to save himself first. Yeah, okay, anyways, the units are gonna getting cornered here, but I think Yo will very much want to take this fight. There's still not the craziest army from Tato here, and Yo might be pulling the units out of position. We have Akustia going in. Tato's going to lose his monks. There's the forward castle from Yo. We've seen it so many times. I do not know what Tato does to stop this. He has enough stone for his own castle, but of course he is all around. Building that would be really optimistic. This one is still not fully trapped, and he builds the castle very defensively. Wow, that surprises me. And he's taking the best fight he can. Underneath the TC, I'm still not sure this is a good fight for him. I think Tato loses his entire army. Uh, either on the front or right here. I'm, I'm completely wrong, by the way. Tato actually holds there. That castle going up, though, is still a bad sign for him. Camel's still a good unit, right? Extra yeah. HP there for Saracens. Ta uh, Tato held quite nicely there. Town Center doing some earlier damage to CA in the back as well, although we were obviously missing quite some upgrades. Yeah, yo. He ends up getting four relics. I believe he said six to five earlier, so that's a very nice prediction. I think he will end up getting five. Tato's still thinking about what he can make. He is building a castle. Is he going full CA? Mameluke's hello. Let's go, Mameluke. <laughs> I mean, uh, even if you just have five or six of them yeah. in combination with cab archers or camels, I think it's quite nice. The problem is, Mameluke's, it is tricky to keep the opponent always at distance. And Corsier, like, once they're close to the distance, they're, they're guaranteed to do you. so much damage. Absolutely, yeah. Also, economically, it's not going to get better for Tato. That TC is is pretty useless. And thank you very much, production. That's exactly what I looked like in that moment. As we see, Yo is, is kind of realized that Tato has expanded to the side. And while Tato will end up clearing here, that's going to be a vulnerable spot for him. Mm -hmm. I think we need a Townsend there. Now enough stone, though. Okay. Yeah, second t castle. Just very easy choice. For I like that. You know, there's a, a point here for Yo where if he feels like he doesn't do enough damage, he might just stop production, Nilly. And if he stops production, then we could see Imp. It's two villagers. No Corsier. He, he is idling already. Mm. Do you switch your unit in the next stage? Because this is Why? going really well. Yeah, why? Why? Yeah. You're going for your dream unit, and Tato's really struggling to find good answers. That could be a good fight for Yo. Yeah, absolutely. Tato has to focus on quick walling with the Vils here. If he didn't have the houses, all of those villagers might have died. Mm -hmm. So he'll get the castle up. He's been able to stabilize here. 97 villagers puts him ahead of his opponent, and he also has six relics. The beauty of the Saracens, I'll say, is they have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So you can go for the Mamelukes. They have great archer line. Cav archers aren't half bad for them. They're camels, too. Champions. Oh, there's no way Yo lets this happen, right? Where's Tato headed? Uh, Tato's just trying to buy time with this group. He knows he will lose them eventually. Oh. Obviously, would love to continue walking there. But Tato, look at that. More Mamluks in the queue, more villagers in the queue. He doesn't realize that Castle is actually the next step for both players. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I, I, it's also a bit tricky, right? Because he needs to stop this army somehow. Mm. The thing I'll say is that Mamluks and their damage output has potential. And... I feel like the, the Kustia is a unit that doesn't get much better. Obviously, armor's nice, but it already has insane first attack, right? Mm -hmm. So if Yo continues to commit to this unit, 
and Tato somehow has the counter to it, maybe Tato will have higher bill count and Tato can hold on while in the Castle Age. The insane first attack is getting even more insane though, that right? If true, we go for true. the elite upgrade, yep. plus the base stats obviously oh, increasing so many. quite a bit more. And Tato, yeah, you don't want to take this fight. I think he needs to delete some. What? Oh! Tries to squeeze through. I mean, the Mamelukes are killing them pretty quickly. Oh. It's the one shots versus the one shots right now with these armies, but as you said, I mean, it, Yo's only going to get more of them. Wow, Tato Makadius is absolutely crazy here. Mamluk's trying to chase down, and Yo, he arrives in and could click Imp, imp again. Yep. Yeah. Ah, yeah, he saves for Elite. He instantly clicks Elite. Yep, yep, probably. Already preparing. He's not going to go for the revolution. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they do still have that option, though, the Burgundians, which is crazy. And here we go. Yo. Also, conscription first. Blue on his screen. Conscription first. More villagers. Some okay. trebs on the way. Sell some wood. Goes for trebs first. There, we... nah, there's elite. Yep. That is. Wanted to queue the trebs first, right? Because he knows under my castles, you're not fighting anyways. Yep. All right. Well, trebs are on the way. 17 Mamelukes for Tato. He is on the way to the Imperial Age. I think his Imperial Age TC is one of the safe ones. Tries to go for a little counter attack here. Yo's ready for it. And man, I think I think Yo's not, not the safe one. Yeah. On traps, actually, that could be one of the early targets. Not really. No, oh, he goes true. to the castles on the left hand side because yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously, like killing villagers is not the winning condition for Yo. He just needs to make sure that the Mamelukes count is not getting out of control. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and and there's situations sometimes where you think I need to be a little cautious with my army. This is not going to be one of them for Yo. Mm -hmm. Yo is going to, if he sees an enemy army or any potential, he's just going to dive with these things and eat away. Yeah, so easy, especially before Tato gets all his upgrades, right? And look at the comparison. Tato, he will reach Imp as well, but resources are not there to click Elite Mamluk, although it's not the most expensive upgrade. He does have 43 on gold, but Yo has the map control, and Yo's going to be able to take a lot of the extra gold around their map. There's gold everywhere on graveyards. Still waiting for Yo to see if he's going to tech switch at all. Seems like he's happy with this unit. And here he goes. Let's see how this goes, man. The castle's down. The Mamelukes need to run away. They are killing these units pretty quickly, though. Yeah, but once the distance closes, it will be really tough here for Tato. He's trying to hold, but the Kossi is there. He should just completely overwhelm this one. Stay close the distance, but Tato keeps running. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it. Also, I, I guess the main problem for Tata will be his eco, but this is why I get excited about the Mamelukes. They're actually not half bad. I'm just worried for Tato. If on the left side, he's losing more buildings to Trebs. Over the next couple minutes, he might lose all of his economy. Did and you just say not half bad? That was an incredible hole, Tristan. What are, what are we watching? Like, I thought Tato is completely dead here. And suddenly, he just killed 25 cost a year. Yeah, he lost some buildings, but his army's still standing. That's before Elite. Wow. Before Elite Mameluke. So Elite Mameluke on the way. Tato needs to take those traps. Yeah, but he can. Melee damage. He will kill those three traps. He Yo, might lose Yo's some gonna though. fight. Yo's going to fight because he does not want to lose those trebuchets. So it's the right play for Yo here. But let's see how many units he has after this. Elite Mamluk now. 34 kills with that group of Mamluks. And that's 34 Kossiers. The unit's insane. And we're on the screen. I didn't even know. Good thing I didn't pick my nose again. <laughs> but uh, holy and crap. He needs to buy stone now. 52 stone only. He can go there and Flemish Revolution. What? No, no, no not bad yet. Bad time. Bad time production. Bad time. 73. And Tato, <laughs> Tato calls it. He's he's dying elsewhere, Nilly. Yeah. We, we got that. We All got so rights. hyped about Mamelukes, but the thing that Yo was able to use as his advantage there, I like how that these guys are like, guys, we have this one thing for production <laughs> with Burgundians. We have to use it here. It doesn't look like he's gonna go for the yeah. revolution. Oh, Do the we use it now? The, 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 the game is about to end. Let's squeeze in the meme. <laughs> <laughs> But, but truthfully, yeah. even though the Mamelukes looked, looked very impressive, Yo controlled that game Castle Age very nicely. And in that moment, even where his unit wasn't maybe the strongest in one position, he split out into like three or four. Uh, we missed a lot of those raids because we were mesmerized by the... Ooh, mesmerized by Mamelukes. I, I like that. That is very nice. Alliteration. <laughs> and the uh, score is now 1-0 for Yo. Mm -hmm. I have to say, Nilly, I got excited about the scouts. Mm -hmm. I got excited about the market thing. Feel like maybe Yo's just too wise against that strategy. Like, I could see, if that strategy happens against Leary, maybe, mm -hmm. I could see it catching off guard. Who but doesn't? Yo has been quickly. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the beautiful thing of Mr. Yo, right? He, even in one of his interviews, said, like, yeah, you need to wall before 
the scouts are coming, right? And he preemptively walled six villagers at one point, two spearmen, five scouts still guarding. He knew that some aggression was coming, and he knew the good economy of Burgundians would carry him. Yeah, absolutely. It was his very first pick, I believe. You can see behind the little crown that we gave this civilization because it won the little charge there. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and I wanted people to realize that because I didn't realize that till yesterday, so. Production reminded me a bit of myself, right? When the, like I have my prepared written down jokes and it's like, uh oh, set is <laughs> about to end and still like try to squeeze two of those jokes <laughs> in no matter what. Those are the worst kind of jokes because it never comes out the way you think it. Yeah, they're so forced. I know, yeah. Yeah, well. Happens. I oh man, I just thought of a joke too, and it I would have been a forced joke. I'll save it for later. Okay, right. so luckily we still have a lot of stuff happening, right? Aren't we? We are not even halfway through, right? Four days of nine-day tournament. Yeah. Can I just say it to make it extremely awkward? I'm ready for it. You said, oh, the jokes are so forced. I said, yeah, you should play forced nothing. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's bad. I know that's it was that's bad. That's funny because yeah. forest nothing is uh, an Age of Empires map. Yeah. That's the, that's, the, that's, what, that's the joke. Okay. Game two coming up here. Tato, he's going to have to pick something that will give us more to joke about because that was bad. Uh, Frigid Lake and Fortified Clearing are available for his home maps. Mm -hmm. If I'm Tato, I'm going for Fortified Clearing because, again, Yo has been very vocal about the fact he doesn't really like the closed maps. Minus 14k because we both <laughs> love 17k. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Well, well done there, chat. Um, <laughs> and I imagine, though, we don't see the bands of the maps on, on our screen here, that it had to have been a Hippo Arena band from Yo, and mm. Tato just took the next best one. Yeah. So not impossible. And yeah, game after game. Tato goes for, ooh, Frigid Lake. And wow, look at this. Malay the choice for Tato. We have seen Malay today already, but never on Frigid Lake. They looked good, too. They looked really good in Golden Swamp. Mm -hmm. However, on Golden Swamp, the meta has been win the swamp, and there's not a whole lot else, right? So I'll be curious to see exactly how Tato plays here. Malay do advance faster to the next stage. Uh, and, oh, oh, okay. The one time I clicked that, mm -hmm. production still stuck on Burgundians with the memes. It's all good. It's all good. Anyways, they do advance faster to the next they're, stage. They're still enjoying Burgundians. Like, <laughs> oh, yesterday, we were so funny. <laughs> um, and with that, that's enough of a bonus to get advantages, right? Um, the unique thing about advancing to the next stage is there's less time where you're researching that age, mm -hmm. which means you're getting to a spot where you're creating villagers, thank you, uh, earlier. So that's kind of how that pans out. It can lead to you having like a two or three villager lead with each time you advance up to the next stage. I don't think we'll see fish traps, but fishing very good with this civilization. There's also a very satisfying amount of vision you get from a dock with Malay. Yeah. So we'll see if I end up... Uh, if we end up seeing a dock, as Tato's going for the barracks here, that was not what I expected at all. That is, that is weird, right? Maybe thinking, okay, the typical build of that we see from Khmer nowadays is the fast yep. feudal age into villagers moving forward. It was the elite Mameluk button. Oh. Well, you, you we, we will have a talk later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but yet, you know, nearly to your point, the Khmer have very frequently skipped the water mm -hmm. and then come on to water later. So this is maybe Tato's attempt at, at pressuring early and all. Oh, is he looking for it? Th this is the perfect place. No, oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me he's splitting. No way. He's not He'll going in between. It. He'll see it. He'll see it. He'll oh, see okay. Militia are going in. He's okay, good. okay. But Villagers that means no do dog. Loom. No dog for Mr. Yo. He will have 400 wood and not uh, have an idea what Look to Look how fast. For. He was going up at 16 pop yeah. in order to kill fish that aren't even there. Yeah, wanted to go for it. And uh, that's just not really nice for Tato. Now the big question, how does Tato get onto food? Because there's very limited food on this map. Not impossible that he sends like four or five villages forward and try to get the deep fish himself. Yeah, um, could just like, it's a little bit of a risk still. You could just go to berries for now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know your opponent doesn't have a dock, so you're not gonna be behind necessarily. Forcing Yo into some different moves. Yo never scouted his sheep here. I feel like that's very common on Frigid Lake. I think that's because all the things you have to think about and look for. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not really sure why. Push, I'd have pushing to look into deer. It. Yeah, it's, it's important, right? The deer are also pretty far away, I think. So they're spending more time pushing the deer. Hmm. And still not going for the berries. Oh, Mr. Yo! I said he's floating 400 wood, and he doesn't know what to do. Well, now right now is he floating 300 wood? Builds the archer range, and I wouldn't be surprised if those three villagers 
I'm going aggressively after this. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just they just take a stroll to the dock together. The two villagers went home, told the tale, and they said, let's send three this time. And Nilly's making a very confused, awkward face. Dark and I believe, the ar I, I believe the awkward face means Tato doesn't have a lot of food right now. Darkage swarms. Yeah. We, we only see you if players are playing fast castle nowadays. And it, it just means he can easily get to rest there by the archers, right? And not really contesting the water. So, as I said, like, I think heavily going into the center and trying to get the deep fish there could have been an option. But obviously, I should never doubt Tato's BOs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Niubo? Niubo, thank you for adding some, some cash to the prize pool here. As you can do, if you donate, it goes directly towards the prize pool. Uh, scouts are important. Tato's not going to have one anymore. And uh, all things considered, I think Yo's going to be fairly happy with his position, especially after killing the scout one. I don't even think Tato scouted that archer range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but now he sees like six villagers going onto gold, and well, now he, the archer is shown. A bit of a surprise to me, right? Because that militia is not very threatening. Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. waiting for two archers and just going aggressively could have been an option. And Khmer player, first to water after all. First to water. We also have a farm coming up. You have to farm around the mills and TCs with every civilization but Khmer. So good job from Yo to have some flexibility here. But I'll be honest, I mean, I think if that's the walls... I think he didn't scout that wood wall. I think you're right, because it would be an obvious wall for him if he did, right? Let's I think he was also looking for sheep yeah, or something he does. He, he tried to go in there and thought, okay, let's wall this one off, and then, yeah, there's it's no forest. space. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So Tata trying to force a lot of damage with the Drush. This is why a lot of players haven't been doing it, because you, you, there's so many things that can go wrong and so much that has to go right to feel strong. At the end of the day, though, he's going to have good resource income when he makes it to the next stage. He could afford to go for an archer range. He could also go on water right now with a dock if he wished to. Look at his wood count. 450. Like, why aren't we seeing a dock? Why aren't we seeing a barracks? I think we see double range from Tato into but a dock. Okay, barracks we're already having. Okay, th now that villager is going for a sneaky dock more at the bottom. And yeah, probably double archery range. Only one on gold, though. Yeah. Is it full skirm play? Tower immediately. I like this because you're in the dark right now. Mm -hmm. And so often this game doesn't go late in the first place. Just protect your gold. That gold spot and Yo's gold spot, both very vulnerable. Actually, Yo's is more on the backside now that I say it. Mm. Um, that's that's a pretty fortunate spawn for him. But berries are pretty much in the open still. Yeah, I wouldn't mind lots of aggression from Tato. Yep, and Tato's done a good job here. Archers don't have fletching yet. Yo, though, using his scout's going to see the dock. And he, he could kill the villager if Tato's not paying attention. If he gets three hits before Tato reacts... Oh, it's getting close. Oh, you run away here with the scout. Run away, pull the archer. Yeah, archer does the, oh, the rest. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. That's that is so good. What percentage is that dock at right there? Perfect play. 60%. Wasted wood. Villager dead. Now we have two archers coming in, pressuring here as well. This is all yo so far. Ay, 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 ay. And yeah, skirm defense is something we have to open with here. If we had Tato and... Doesn't look pretty. Look at that. Also transition into farms. Continues to do that without horse color. Obviously nice. Gives you a way to get to castles, but still, like not seeing that wood line, like he will have horrible walls. Yeah, yeah that's painful, right? So much has been less than ideal for Tato. Let's just say that at he does he have the skirm at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he sees it now, and two houses yeah. there and a palisade will be good for him. Maybe three houses, and he is fine. He still has the tower there. Shouldn't take a lot of damage, but he played Malay to up faster to have the crazy good timing yeah. and couldn't. Get any profit. It's it's moments like these that I'm glad we get to see Yo's camera because in these moments I like to imagine Yo has a little like mm -hmm. <laughs> little chuckle, little smile on his face, like, oh man, he's going for skirms and I've got food eco. I mean Yo loves the stable units, right? Mm -hmm. It feels like a natural spot maybe for him to consider flooding the middle of the map with a couple of scouts. He does have his archers around. That run archer's just paying attention to the shoreline. And he's just gonna play safe, yo. He's just gonna wall up. And he's he's going to group up this archer with the rest of his buddies. And Tato's still not walled here, Nilly. He's trying to. His archers can maybe intercept this. No, he's missing it. Why did he leave he's that one archer that. in there? <laughs> not hey, <pro> Frank. <laughs> not probably grouped in there. <laughs> uh, maybe not true from earlier. Has two kills. That's uh, the one that killed the, uh, the villager. So he gets to rest because he killed some stuff, I guess. I mean. That's how it works. That's how it works. <laughs> oh, man. And yeah, those will most likely get that villager as well. Tato 
Still reasonably far away from the town center. Try to help. What? Did he actually houseblock this? Did he save the villager? I, I, we might need a replay on that one. That was pretty if that happened. Also, what is, is the yo, shot? I think there's a hole. I have very bad eyesight, but I believe there's a hole well, in blue dots in red space, so Whoa! that's a good indicator. Yo had everything going perfectly. He didn't start that at scouts. He didn't think he would need to. So both players have to do some crazy damage control right now. And that is tough to clear up, right? Because skirmishes are in there as well. Damage output for Tato, not the craziest thing. Has two skirms here for the defense. Tato finished armor now as well. Ooh, this is pretty solid for Tato. Yeah, let's, let's see. Uh, there are a couple range units coming out from Yo. And yeah, pretty solid defense from Tato indeed. Total resources collected. Actually a little higher from Tato if you can believe it's on the screen and there's been no market at this point right so no little fluctuations there which is weird right because we had like three four fishing ships but simply because the game was so messy at the start and Tato does a really good job here oh, Those skirmishes wow. are finding quite some kills when i think yo i think eco and stable units when i think tato i think he can do a bit more of all the types of micro right and archer micro especially he is top tier i know for gamer legion he's very frequently playing flank for a reason and tato bringing this game back he's getting some great kills and the idle time for yo is sky high at the moment wow five kills for that group of five units really nice skirm still at the front archer still Further in the back, Tato floating a lot of resources, but one quick market used, and he's up to Castle H. And he can take water now. Like, he should be able to get a dock up because there's not an army. I mean, there's probably still that one archer. There you go. But beyond that, right, you can get a dock down, even with the galley, if you want to force it with a couple of bills. Tato in dreamland right now after this start, right? Like, it felt like Yo did everything right, but that one hole in his wall has cost him dearly. Mm -hmm. Might just be one of the very weird spots where Tato ignores the water completely and just doesn't contest it at all till we are maybe mid imp. Elephant onto Yo's dock. That's the play. <laughs> Yo's got skirms. You have cheap elephants. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to use them to break in. Just use them to bust down that dock. It's not impossible, right? He only has one archer range still. Maybe he prepares a tech switch. Market now late for Yo. Still didn't invest in his stone. Everything walled up here. We're going into really. <laughs> What's going on with this that, guy? That's still Fred, right? <laughs> it's the same it looks guy. like Fred. No, that's Fred. No, Bo both have two. Oh, how do we separate? Twin brother, them? twin brother. They're looking for each other. He's they, they, one of them said, "Hey, meet me between the stone and the gold," and then the other one waited long enough, and he said, "Let's go back to the last place I saw him." <laughs> and so he's waiting there as well. And you know, this is before they had cell phones, <laughs> so they can't text each other. I mean, what's going on here? Hmm. And oh, oh no, no, oh no, no. Fred no. too. Have Fred a heart. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's there's some families out there you just don't want to mess with. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Feels bad. And now Fred won. Like, he will wait forever. <laughs> he will wait forever. Like, He'd rather die than leave. <laughs> completely left without a family. Yeah. You know, some, some ships coming by, checking if he's still fine. Yep, yep, just checking in on him. That's the Coast Guard. They're like, we're not normally allowed to let you out here. He's like, sorry, we got to stay here. My brother's coming. Okay, and they, they recheck again. Like, still? Like, your brother's <laughs> coming? And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't normally have someone go along with these little things as long as we have here, Nilly. I like it. And that is Fine. close by now. Okay, got a house there. And that's, like, that's oh, so beautiful. Oh, farms. Yo. But, yeah, still, like, he can go for the farms to the right-hand side. And everything house walls. Look yeah, at yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I, I was initially thinking if, you're, if you can farm anywhere, maybe don't farm on the front <laughs> yeah. when there's going to be crossbowmen. But you are right. This is a very typical yo thing. A if you're going to try and break yo, you're going to need a lot more than just crossbowmen. Mm -hmm. And that's just, like, I think he farmed there because that's where the berries He's going to overchop that tree. <gasps> He's just overchopped it. Oh, Tristan. Tristan, that could be really bad. That could be like five dead villagers. He does not. Okay, he knows. And then into the house he, he goes. Yeah, Ooh. but that's like that has maybe 100 HP. Well, he can uh, he can hit the other side with the oh, house. Maybe here. 100 HP. I said by the way. <laughs> <laughs> is so so humble. You knew it was 100. You just didn't want to. Yeah. Eyesight. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I counted the the trees. Yeah, I believe it. Skirms, maybe the long term choice here for Yo is trying to dig himself out of this hole. But he still has fish. And I'm just not a big fan of the fact that uh, Tato hasn't really been aggressive there. I also want to know if that archer's still there. I'm so sorry, but yeah, there he he's, is. He's like, okay, maybe it was in this area that yeah. I lost him. Well, now, now this feels a little uh, bit he more like the whole Age of Empires because he that's looking for a dock location. Absolutely, Nilly. He's, mm -hmm. he's going to go in there, potentially, Tato. 
And then he's currently behind the other wood line. So wood has just been really awkward for you. Tedo bought 100 stone for himself. <gasps> he, to, in order to find out what happened to his brother, he needs to join the enemy. Tato, In please infiltrate convert it. them. Convert it. Oh! Revenge for his fallen brother. Yeah, find out what happens Three next kills. in season four. Frank yeah, yeah, versus yeah. the world. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You know what happened? He was such a good season actor. Season canceled. He Not was such a good actor. They didn't want to pay him what he earned. What he <laughs> so he's off to a different show. We'll see him next. We'll see him mm. tomorrow. Sounds like um, Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, there's the siege workshop there for Tato, and I like this, right? Because it took Yo a long time to be able to get to Elite Skirmisher, and so now Yo kind of has that counter, but Yo's going to need a little bit more in the mix now if there's Manganel and Crossbowman. Yeah, and rushing distance is so short, right? If they were exactly across each, uh, across from each other, yeah, yeah. then the pawn becomes more important. But since Tato can build a reasonable siege workshop in front of his base and has a short rushing distance, that's why he could afford to give up the water. Yo needs to spend that food on eco upgrades, on Ooh. blacksmith upgrades, on skirmishers. I mean, really on anything. That is a lot of food. And uh, I'm, I'm looking at that. I'm also looking at resources collected and seeing that Tato is actually 1,100 resources above that, above him. That's sick. So that really tells you how good Tato's economy is, actually. Obviously, like, he gets two extra villagers advancing to Feudal, three extra villagers advancing to Castle Age, but you still have to invest yeah, in those. Yeah. But that's a bit surprising to me, yeah. We had the full fish. We had the faster or the better Khmer farmers. That's solid. Oh, yeah. Vivi! Cheering for Mr. Yo. Is that Vivi? That is the Vivi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, that's awesome. I'm sure he is rooting for Yo here. And here comes Tata with a bit of a push. And Yo didn't know about the siege until the last minute here. Uh -oh. And again, forward farms. Exposed wood line. And now he arrives here. That could be... Uh, I think the TC is up too far. Yeah, I think TC yeah, will, yeah. will go up. But maybe those two crossbows can hide themselves. Yeah, no damage on those. Yeah, just, just uh, leave them in the corner and circle back later. Or you can do that and force some type of reaction. Gums are coming over. Now going for the archer range there. Could damage that town center. Tattle only saw it now. Yo, Yo, to me, is crazy. I would have added the siege workshop the second I saw Manganel. And he just chills. Mm -hmm. He doesn't add... Oh, okay, there is a siege workshop, so that now makes a little bit more that's sense. That's a hill. Right? Yeah. We Tato, have a hill. I don't think Tato knows the TC's there. If he knows the TC's there, he absolutely pushes that. I'm going to assume that Tato... Oh. He just ran in there, but... I think also like pressuring through the center is where all the farms are, right? That's true. Yeah, and the gold and the woods kind of there as well, and the dock. I mean, there's a lot of different things. Plus, he saw the siege workshop, and then he needs to be more aware. Yep. Okay. And he's definitely cautious right now, and I would be too. Like Yo's score is is on par with yours. He's not showing you an awful lot. But you know that Mr. Yo has water, right? So you might feel, okay, I might be slightly ahead. Tato actually going for 4 TC is something that's very atypical for melee. I feel like trying to break in there. Nice conversion there, it looks like. Good against the Mangano that will be coming up. Now the Mangano dance over here. Oh, that will be tricky. Who's winning this one? Oh, we were a second ahead there. Yeah, yep, absolutely. But, um, you know, if Tato wants to advance through the middle, Siege can come in behind him, and then he doesn't know how much is in those stables as well. I, I feel like it's a little risky. Maybe I'm wrong. The knight can do something against the skirms as well. Oh, Angle, nice what one. What a great shot there. And gets that knight. Brilliant sequence for Tato. Also, Yo, a little bit of brilliance on his own. I know he's losing some to a knight right now, but he did pick off a few crossbows that were coming forward. So that's a very Yo thing to do, picking off the reinforcements and, and just putting Tato in a position where he needs to pay attention to something other than this push. And single knights doesn't excite me that much. As he's building, maybe you even could consider going for an elephant there. Skirm's trying to test the water a bit. And Tato, just okay, fine with killing some houses. Next Mangano, threatening and fight. Yeah, Yo needs to be careful with this force now. Remember, Malay don't have the best stable units as Yo gets a beautiful shot there. Good recovery from him. And all of a sudden, I think the Manganels are exposed. Yo could hop out right now with his cab, wherever they are, and he could maybe take out those Manganels. Seven light cab. Yeah, there are no monks around, so a bit surprising, or like one monk only. It's yeah. a bit surprising that he went for that much light cab, but obviously gets the crazy food income, so I don't mind it too much here. Yeah, no armor yet for Yo, or second armor that is. Light cab aren't really the best against lots of crossbows anyways, but Tato is backing up. 
Khmer late game is really strong, and what a shot from Yo uphill. He could use the skirms to finish off the rest of the skirms if they're still alive. And he's gonna get it, and all oh, the skirmishers, no way! Nice. What a finish Yo. from Yo. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Reasonable amount of farms here for Tedo. 40 farms for Malay. That's something we don't see too often in Castle Age. Typically, they try to have low numbers and try to go up earlier. You remember earlier in the day when Nikov said in the interview, you need to stop making eco upgrade jokes about me? Mm -hmm. I think we found the new target. Tato doesn't have horse collar. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that means a lot of wood is going into reseeding some of these farms. He could use some of that wood for other thi <sighs> Okay, he's getting horse collar. Okay, good timing there at least. Well, better late than never. Mangonol, fi uh, Mangonol still protecting this area quite nicely. Tedo could maybe consider going for uh, ballistics? Oh, see a mix in. That has to be a misclick. Yeah, that was probably a misclick. I don't know about you, and a lot of this does come down to the fact I haven't seen Malay as much, but I definitely prefer Khmer late game. Having the crazy farms, the crazy potential for Hussar raids, um, it just feels very strong on this map, and, and with the melee, I think what their benefit would be would be the raid through the middle, mm -hmm. mass crossbowmen into Arbalest. That's Tata's win condition here. It looks like he's, he's trying to get there soon. Generally agreed with you, right? If the game is completely open and we can raid a lot, mobility with Hassa, Elite Scrum, way better. But look at how the map is designed. Yep. Here at the top, there are three crucial gold spots. If we zoom out a bit and take a bit of a look after we see the quick walls. Okay, Light Kefa in. They're like, this top of the map is so crucial. Look at this. Yep. Like three gold spots there, both of the extra gold spots. One from Mr. Yo and Tedo fighting there. He will be up earlier to him and can control this area, which is so crucial. Yeah, and, and I think if Tato is thinking about this properly, he should go with the army, get his upgrades, and just drop that castle forward, right? This is not a situation where you want a defensive castle. Yeah. You need yeah. to get it in that area, Nilly. And then he can control the water, right? Next to the deer there, could have been an option. Tedo now takes into Light Calf. Mm, not the biggest fan. You do not get the second armor upgrade as the melee, and so that means the skirmishers are even going to do a decent enough job against you. But, I mean, for Tato, he's, he's clearly very scared of the skirms, uh, and he's going to drop that defensive castle. So a lot of fear in Tato's mind right now. Considering he's 40 seconds away from the Imperial Age, I feel like maybe he could have been more bold with that castle. Maybe felt okay. I don't really have the control right now. Also, the crossbow were chasing the light cap, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. at the front, he didn't really have the army. It's still no water control for him. Only now the scout production. I think this one, not ideal, but was forced into it. I think the second one is more aggressive. Yeah, and he's still very heavy on stone. Mm -hmm. Oh man, with this castle. The light cap are actually going to get some insane value here against the monk, against the manganel. And now Tatsu's getting imp upgrades. You the need to get more villagers on that castle. It's unanswered, the crossbows. Now he's trying to dance here. All the scums are going down. Military count. I think there will be like 30 to none. Yo. It's one demo. It's one demo and two monks against an imp army suit. And Tato opened this up earlier. He, that's the imp TC right there. There is a tower going up, but that is Yo's imp TC. He needs to somehow last and keep that thing up. I'm not sure he can. Well, Tedo most likely going for that castle at the top, right? So that might be the saving grace here for Mr. Rio. But look at look that at completely exposed farm, Miko. And Arbalest should be coming. Chemistry is going to be in here soon. Tato with 121 villagers. Yo at 110. Tato, he had a rough start to this game, but a great recovery. He's had consistent archer production. And, oh, man. I mean, Yo's making a Ballista Elephant hype. But he's going to need a lot of Ballista Production elephants. is on the meme. <laughs> that, that they're like, we don't have one prepared for Ballista Elephants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, having to abandon those farms hurts so much. Another castle into the direction of the yeah. two golds, ready to trap the one defensive castle of Mr. Yo. And there's so much eco there yeah. at the top behind the castle. Yeah, that's a really good castle. Mm -hmm. That's the spot, Nilly. Like you said, I I'm sure Tato couldn't think about the type of map generations that happen when he went for the melee, but when he saw the distance between the two, I'm sure he started to like it more and more here, because this archer play has been amazing. Yeah, yeah, and that's like, as we said, like, this map spawn is better for melee, and Tato has to be happy. Now, finally, takes out the water, but those four fishing ships, they brought in quite some food. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, maybe there was more potential there for Demo? Tato. The Demo finally gets to do something. One guy steps in front. That was sick micro. Mm -hmm. But Almost that. Yo, still. I mean, okay, he's got that's some army here. Mm -hmm. And the Ballista Elephants helped a lot. Um, but Tedo to stagger. 
formation, right? Yeah. Can't really be clumped up, otherwise the elephant does way more damage. And this is a nice clear up. Still, all the aggression at the top, and Mr. Yo only now reaches it. Uh, Yo's relics are on the front as well. His castle's gonna go down. Tato doesn't know about the castle there, but he could still do some decent raiding at the back of Yo's economy. A 34 on food right now for Tato. He's got 51 on gold and 40 on wood. Solid. So he can make a lot of siege and a lot of archers right now. He was up another 11 arbalest. And where's Yo getting gold right now? He still has some at the at home. And yeah, he just built that castle to, next to a new fresh gold spot. So yep. shouldn't be the biggest concern. And Tato, now the only untouched gold spot of the whole game also being supplied by gold. And Meme was prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing as well as the ballistas come through. I mean, the benefit of the ballistas is that you don't actually need a ton of upgrades for them to be decent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, they are costly, but they are effective. Uh, but I'm thinking for Yo, he, he wasn't planning to make them in the first place. It's just he needed something. Uh, for me, it's, it's still two knights, three light cav, very little resources floating for Yo. Army I'm value. not seeing any way back for yeah, him. Army value not for Tato also. Like that's the brilliance of like the top top players, right? They see, okay, I'm ahead. The lesser player would think, okay, let's let's just push in. He thinks, okay, what are the steps? How can I lose this game? And this is like if Yo is somehow hiding like thir two extra TCs at the bottom, has 30 farmers there, and swarms me with cavaliers or hussars, so he is tacking into the harbor and, and even like I could be raided. Mm -hmm. with weaker units. Let's place a castle next to the shoreline, next to the gold, make sure my walls are fortified, which he's kind of done in the other areas. Yo is a fighter. Mm -hmm. He's up 1-0. Yeah. We've only seen him lose units over the last five to ten <laughs> minutes, and he's just looking at his PC like I've still got a chance. He'll probably call the GG now, but I'm just... I'm waiting for it, Nilly. Gets the tower denied there as well, and yeah, looks really good for Tato. We just pop 200. And he should think, okay, what are my next steps in addition to Harbadiers? Could maybe think about building more outposts at the bottom, yeah. The Tano doesn't have a lot of vision there. That's a bit, like, there's nothing there. Yeah, but, but still, thinking. he doesn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Tato's castle. There's a couple outposts there. Very little vision. I really like, Vodka, if we could just take a quick glance at the front of Tato's base. I really like how um, everything, for the most part, is walled there. And the area that's not, we got the we have the castles. Yeah, really that's nice. so good. Also, the farms then in that area. And look at that. You can pronounce that castle age upgrade. And better than Buholtz for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thalassocracy, I think, is how you say that. And uh, so we could see Tato with some get out of my game docks, maybe. Mm -hmm. and drop a bunch of docks on that center circle. Those docks will shoot arrows. They'll, they become harbors. And. Uh, I, I don't think they're needed here, but it'd be really cool if he could stack the entire circle with some harbors. Yeah, yeah it would be a stylish move. Obviously, you lose so much map control. It's basically 30% of the center of the map taken away as an option for Mr. Yo. Like, he could not raid anywhere near that. Yo's, Yo, I love Yo's fight. And he actually got in with some raids, too. Like, there's a couple red dots. Mm -hmm. So that's going to make him believe that he's got a bit more of a chance. But, I mean, he does have 45 on food. But Tato's going to finally start to really go for the kill. He's been kind of crawling in slowly. I think Tato will be going for the castle here. Let's get into the brain of Mr. Yo and how he's trying to find some raids. He is blue here and tries to dodge still the shots. That was epic micro <laughs> with that weak hussar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those for some scorpions. Village just being sent over to the repair. Has found its stone there for the defense. But look at the queue. Yeah. It is like some hussars now. That's kind of it, like one scorpion. His micro dodging. is really <laughs> his yeah. micro is really good with the units that he has. Kills the bombard cannon there potentially. Like he is doing everything right. It yeah. just feels like he's so heavily outnumbered. Yeah, yeah. Tato is currently using a bombard cannon versus a castle age scorpion. Yeah. It's and he's crazy. gonna kill the bombard cannon <laughs> as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is crazy. Might split this one off and might Yep, bonk. Nice. Gets the bombard cannon. Gets the one trap what? at the right hand side. <laughs> what? He is holding this. <laughs> He's a magician, honestly. Loses what the in castle. The world? Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yo back in red now on our side. But his population didn't go up. <laughs> his position didn't get any stronger. It I, just was pretty. It, it was, and I just I appreciate this so much because. These types of days can be exhausting, right? Mm -hmm. You're in training games, you know. I, I don't know exactly how they're feeling, but I'm still kind of adapting to the whole travel side of things. And, and these days, as much fun as I'm having. And, like, he could easily resign here mm -hmm. and just say, okay, let's save our energy, let's save our APM for the next game. Mm -hmm. 
And he's just like, no, I'm not dead yet. And this might also be like a sign to Tato. Uh, like maybe in Yo's mind, he's like, this guy isn't killing me. And if it does takes him another 10 minutes to kill me here, that's a confidence boost for me mm -hmm. going into the, another, the next games. Because if it's closer, I'll definitely win, right? Yeah. Also, we know that Mr. Yo arguably one of the best late in players, right? So Cannon Galleon! <laughs> love it. Have to love it, right? And that pressures the castle a bit more as well. And way tougher to snipe than those yeah. traps and bombard cannons from earlier. There we go. GG, 116 pop, same as he's had for the last 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. But um, there we have it. And oh, I'm Mr. not... Yo, looking at the map, trying to get an idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And look at the little, the little thinking. Chin, uh, what do you do? The chin scratch? Did you see that? The mm -hmm. little, hmm, okay, thinking okay. about this. And yeah, that's the guy that normally changes the picture, that just adjusted the camera. That's why we were at the Observer PC <laughs> for so long. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, well, oh. I got you. It's all good. Scores 1 1 here. Again, Yo in this tournament has been Mr. 3 2. I'm not sure he'll like that name. He, he and Vinchester, I guess, have yeah, been Mr. 3-2, yeah. but it, it comes with more of a positive meaning for Yo because he's 2-1 and one in his total sets. How do I exhaust it here? Look at that. It just feels like it is intense. It is intense of a set. Yeah. It's been a long day, mm -hmm. right? They've been hanging out with us around the house and, you know. They're early here at practice, right? I think yeah. both arrived at noonish. You know what, I would say. You know what yeah. surprises me? Surprises. If I play like five intense high level games, I'm exhausted. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And these guys, pretty much all of them, maybe it's just because they're AOE addicts and they, they prefer to play than watch, but a lot of them are playing a lot. Mm -hmm. Like they probably, Yo probably played like ten games today. Yeah, yeah, yeah not unlikely. And, and then, then you come into this best of five, and like for me, obviously I have a point zero one percent chance of being here, as you stated, Neely. <laughs> but um, you know, if I were to be in the shoes, I feel like I would maybe play like one or two games and just think strategy. Mm -hmm. But I, I wouldn't have the energy to do this mm -hmm. if I were to play that many training games. What do you think, like? I'm not that old. You're older than me, actually, so I don't know what to think about it. <laughs> Didn't know why we had to go there, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's impressive, right? Mr. Yo, how much he uh, is playing, right? Also, like, in his daily routine, I wouldn't be surprised if he spends, like, 12 hours a day in front of the PC and either casting or playing Age of Empires. And that's for, like, the last 10 years? Yeah, absolutely. It's absolutely. Sick. And kind of without a break as well. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't really take breaks. And if he's not... This is what I brought up at the start of the series with Yo. A lot of players, if they're not playing uh, a tournament, they're playing a ranked game. If they're not playing a ranked game, they're not playing at all, mm -hmm. right? Yo, if he's, he, he will play a tournament set, and just like you and me, he will then cast the next three tournament sets okay. if he's at home. So yeah. he's constantly thinking about the game. That's what makes him great with strategy. The previous game, I have to say, he did struggle a little bit with the chaos. Mm -hmm. He had a giant hole in his wall that I think really ruined his whole plan. So he's going to have to make sure his mind is sharp. It was here. the one weird one above the archery range, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then the archer squeezed through there. And after that, it was just the two wood lines, and he couldn't really protect them anymore. Yeah. Right? Brilliantly by Taro there, controlling both of them. But now we're jumping into Kavasa. Dravidian Skier, obviously one of the civilizations that we have seen quite a bit, simply because plus 200 wood comes in quite handy, and your fishermen are more efficient. Plus, you're saving a house, building that dock. Yeah, so Dravidians have some really early power spikes in Feudal. Byzantines, they have bonuses which feel like they last more throughout the whole game, or more specifically, I feel like Byzantines as a sieve are just more well-rounded as the game goes on, mm -hmm. right? The faster working fires is the biggest bonus here. Also, buildings having more HP can be helpful if you're trying to keep your buildings up on water. Um, but what I like about the Byzantines is how, man, we conti they continue to throw Tiny us on stream. <laughs> it's like the same two people like, give us the small casters, give us the small casters. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, as I distract myself. Uh, by yourself. By myself. <laughs> um, the, uh, the thing that's cool about Byzantines is you have reasons to go water. And then you don't really need to fear them coming to land. Because if they come to land, you can see it. You have so much vision in your base. Yeah. And it's like you always have an answer to it as well, right? Yeah. You see them coming. Okay. Then I build camels. Oh, crossbows. Well, then I build skirms. Yeah. Oh, they're doing an all-in where monks are good. I have perfect monks as well. Absolutely. Stronger buildings, even buying yourself more time. Yeah. It's so good. And, and that's why I say like with Dravidians, a lot needs to go right. Um, the early attacks here need to be quite strong. So... I'm excited, Neely. I know you've been watching pretty much every game over there. 
Do you remember what Yo did against Veleza with the Dravidians? No. How dare you? And you consider yourself a student of the game. I'm kidding. Uh, he went forward. He went man-at-arms, and he went towers. And Veleza was very confused, and Veleza didn't know where to go, and Yo just felt very comfortable. So I'm looking at the wood count right now for Yo. I see two villagers heading towards the middle. I'm guessing it's not going to be for a second dock. I think he's going to go barracks again. Okay, and Dravidians, they obviously benefit from that cheaper man at arm upgrade. Yep. So that could be really ugly. Gold, very exposed here for Tato, and that is tricky. How do you build a defensive tower there that cannot be ranged from like a tower from a different angle? Ay, 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 ay. That is, that gold spot is painful. It, that, don't, don't tell me again that's happening. Again. <laughs> oh, you want to, what? What happened? You want to the man the sheep? Uh, Tato with the sheep quick wall. That was beautiful. <laughs> what? We'll have to production get a highlight on that later. That is the true zoo. <laughs> right? <laughs> Everything to save 100 food, baby. <laughs> Everything to save 100 food. It's worth it. Oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, here we go. Yo sees what he wants to see. What is Tato's vision? We need to see that. Yeah. Like, is he scouting pawns here or is he seeing the center? What's crazy? He has no idea. He scouts he the pawns, mm. right? Mm -hmm. But he's not going to see the barracks. He sees three on gold, because which is a, misleading as well. Yeah, a traditional build, the barracks is maybe right next to the wood line there, and he finds it. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't see the barracks because it's in the middle of the map. This is looking really good for Yo right now. Yeah, have to love it. Tower, where is he building it? He didn't see and 100% confirm that Tato is on gold here. It obviously feels very likely. Still not in feudal age. Could be a, uh, um, an archer range. And Tato, at least like for this. the barracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also what's, what's really good, so now he sees it because he gets the extra vision from everything. Um, Tato is going to likely take out the fish of Yo. And Yo's not even making a fire galley here. Wow. So Yo is giving up the water. Those are big. Oh, no, those were the second pawns. Okay. Uh, he's giving up the water. Mm -hmm. And here's the, okay, sheep quick wall there from Tato. I mean, that was so fast I couldn't even really hype it. <laughs> so well yeah. done, Tato, there. But uh, I kind of like Tato's position. He, he left the gold, mm -hmm. said, I'm not going to leave myself vulnerable here. And that barracks was super early, so we could time the archer range properly. Yeah, nice. Also, now the archer range at home there. Barry's not really needed, but his gold spots aren't pretty, right? Yeah. He has the two to the left-hand side, where Mr. Yo is anyways. To the right-hand side, feels really exposed. Tattoo, he can build maybe one arch and then has to go into skirms and then needs to get creative on what to go to get. Yeah, yeah I, there's probably like this nervous laughter in Tato's head. He's like, no gold, <laughs> at least I'm Byzantines, you know? <laughs> I mean, that is a positive that you don't really need to rely on a lot of gold. But if you want to make ships, you absolutely do. Mm. So that will be important more so on water than land at the moment. And Mr. Yo also docking this, and, and he can easily win this one. Yep. Tato, like, he is so careful on how to spend his 75 gold, yep. right? And that's why one archer, then skirmishes, the only way to defend this. Fletching, kind of not an option. Well, well, that's true. If he makes another fire galley, he can't get fletching. That's a good point. Yeah, I see one archer, and now skirms. We'll see if Tato prioritizes a blacksmith. This is the thing, like, this he, type I of I think play? he doesn't know. Can we go into Tato's vision? Not sure if he scouted the gold at the top. He does. Okay. Okay. So he knows that he's going to take the stone first. Mm -hmm. But what's so interesting is this is not the type of game Byzantines want, right? It's messy. They've lost access to resources, and you have to adapt a lot. And this is where Yo shines. If it's meta, I I wouldn't put Yo in my top four, mm -hmm. right? He doesn't execute the meta, but he he counters the meta with different strategies. And here is Yo. He's beating a Byzantine fire ship currently. Mm -hmm. He's going to need to make sure that he's got another unit coming out of that dock. I think it's a demo. Could get those units pretty close. 85%. Tato tries to micro back. Demo's going to come out here. Gets oh, a double kill. Oh, my goodness. That was perfect. And now Tato doesn't have a fire galley on the way. 75 gold. He doesn't want to spend no it. Well, yeah, he didn't know how to spend the gold, right? Goes for a fire galley now. That means no fletching for ages. Yeah, and he's probably going to lose fishing ships before the fire galley comes out. Yo doing yo things. Also, the other pond is lost with that. Yep. This is beautiful. Oh. Now, now Yo doesn't know the other pond has been taken, mm -hmm. so it's possible they'll both fish peacefully over there, but it is not peaceful at Tato's base. Hmm. And let's see if Yo can quick wall. We saw a sheep quick wall, and yeah, this is, this is pretty much Yo is just like, yeah. Kids with their quick walls these There's days. There's so much happening at the same time, right? Yeah. And this will be some ugly harassment. Tato, okay, he gets stone now, will get that tower, can then leapfrog okay. further yeah. forward and get control of that gold. But as we said, water will be lost till then. Remember, everything has to go right with the Dravidians, right? And the Byzantines, 
their units are cheaper. They have more and more bonuses to bail them out as the game goes on. If Tato can stabilize at any point, I prefer his position. But currently, Yo has definitely benefited from this entire play. Uh, here you've got two fire ships versus one. Tato, he might run out of gold eventually to repair here. Oh, true. <laughs> Uh, but for the time being, he actually is going to kill two Wait, ships because of this repair. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, yeah, and now he's back on the gold. Wow. Did Tato, Tato really stabilize here? Yeah, it, it kind of feels like it. I mean, the only thing against him is man-at-arms, which can't push anywhere. Crucial. Skirmishers, which do fire faster with Dravidians, but cost full price. Let's take a look at work efficiency. That still has to be really bad for Tato, no? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 70, yeah, he's certainly behind. Worker efficiency isn't great. But he still has lots of workers, and he still had more workers as well. Mm -hmm. Now, what Yo did against Veleza, he didn't actually finish the game early. He did have better tower positions, I'll say that. Mm -hmm. But he ended up really finishing off the game in Castle Age. And so, considering his eco has been untouched at home, he's been able to work more on that balance there, it seems like. And I could see him reaching Castle Age faster here. Did he have anything in the center? Because villagers obviously could have been at the berries there. And no, that's just skirmishes that don't really know <laughs> what to do. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't need that army because my other army is so good. <laughs> and oh, wow, that that's just actually huge here, Nilly. One of these two needs to make a fire galley there. And Tedo has one on the field that's in the right hand side pawn. Now the question is, is Mr. Yo queuing it up right or left? I'm going to assume right so we can compete in the pond. That's more likely, right? Yeah. And they're going to encounter each other on the left just now. I would say one of these two is going to have to react right now because I think the fishing ships are in within sign of each other. Mm -hmm. Tato can afford fledging I'm now. wrong. Ay, 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 ay. They're going to meet in the middle and then there's going to be no more fish in the first place. And both mi might misread the situation. Both think, okay, I'm ahead in economy. <laughs> that, that's actually really funny, yep. Both players filled with confidence because they haven't lost fishing ships there. Oh, forward villagers? Is he trying to... He's going to tower and then hope to shoot down the Byzantine tower? Optimistic. Remember, we have hill advantages with the nature empires where if you're on a hill, you do more damage, and if you shoot up a hill, you do less damage. Does not work in tower v tower fights. Yeah. It it does work with the tower against the villagers, though? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the only tower v tower <laughs> where it's ignored. Yeah. And yo... And Tata with fires over here. So I wouldn't even mind a second dock from Yo if he can float the resources for that. But it's definitely market time for both players. Seems to me like Yo will reach Castle Age faster. Mm -hmm. And I'm still really curious what that tower is going to mean for him in the middle. Because he doesn't have archers to garrison. And he just he just builds the tower just, just to hold control there. Miscalculate, maybe? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure one of the original tutorials was like... <laughs> uh, what was the wording on that? Build a top. No. It'd be a good place to build a watchtower on, on this hill. hill. Yes, yes, mm, yes. Mm. So maybe Yo, Yo paying attention to the OG tutorials. Yeah. Story interesting here. Oh, it would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this mm. hill. That's what it was. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only know the remixes nowadays. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good tower. Yeah, yeah, lots of towers. I think this tower is mainly to give him position to build a siege workshop behind it later on. Yep. And you can basically never jump it in Field Age. Okay, so Tower Rush. Really devastating, really frustrating at times, right? Mm -hmm. Especially against Yo, in the back of your mind, you're just like, this is no fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you haven't been Tower Rushed frequently by the Dravidians and you don't know what the graphics look like of the Dravidian Guard Tower, mm -hmm. does that add to the stress of the situation? <laughs> Uh, not really, I think. <sighs> okay. I think Bi Byzantines are fine, and I think Guard Tower, not really what I would expect in this situation. Guard Tower, kind of what we are only going for as a defense against Mangonels nowadays. Okay, that's just a thought. Yo's villagers have been everywhere. Like, he's just running all around constantly. I don't know how he freely runs around with villagers without being caught out. Those red dots. Well, he just simply forces so much army, right? And yeah. that demo will get oh, mm. underwhelming. Yeah, Thanks. underwhelming. So both players are going to end up losing their fish on this side. There wasn't a lot left, though. And Yo might actually be able to take what's left of that fish with those Dravidian fishing ships first. Yeah. I think committing there would be a mistake. And Tato pulls them. Uh-oh, another tower to back it off. <laughs> oh. Now, if Dravidians had knights, you'd have a stable. You send out a knight here, and this is really bad for Tato. But this is the weak point of the Dravidians, the fact they don't get knights. And so, again, everything you're doing has to flow within the game. And we see an elephant archer coming out of that middle archer range right now. 
Not too bad against Feudal Army, obviously. And Tado, well, once he gets two skirmishes and or camels, he will find some answers. But that one could be an ugly one. Just sitting under the tower, potentially, yeah. until Scum yeah. scare him away because he's not scared of archers. Yeah, because I don't Look think... Look at this! I've never seen that in my life before. Because <laughs> I don't think you're going to make these long term. <laughs> and it's good enough to get the job done. And that's really all Yo cares about here. Mm -hmm. Siege Workshop now coming up as well. Elite Skirmishers could be one of the next steps. Goes for Monastery first. Remember, we changed the rank position a bit. Two at the side of each pawn, one in the center. Yep. A little trade there in the middle. Not sure exactly what happens, but not a lot of fish remaining on either side. Advantage Yo with map control. Advantage Tato with potential. Resources collected is actually ahead for Tato, but it's not going to be ahead if he can't take his gold. So he needs to somehow secure that. He is at the gold at the right hand side now. Can he build a tower there to control this area? And Mr. Yo, actually not opening with the mangled demo. Yeah. What? Oh! Out of nowhere. Oh my why, why goodness. Why would you ever be scared of a mangled there? Oh my goodness. What a beautiful demo. And of course it had to come from Tato. And now suddenly there's no ranged army anymore for Yo, and then his elephant is going to get converted, though I'm not sure which one. Uh, seems like maybe from distance the Monk is now closing down the distance. You can't convert from um, distance, though, so Monk chasing down. But that was brilliant. And that now Tados can raid again. Yeah, Tados yeah, yeah. can raid again. Exactly. And, and things are starting to go wrong right now for Yo. His forward wasn't enough. It was chaotic. We do have a defensive siege workshop, which is very nicely placed from Yo. Mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, Tato, with a couple monks, was able to thwart the Elephant Archer, Elephant Ram, or Siege Elephant, excuse me. Still would love to see Crossbowman for Tato, but I guess he might want to wait and see if he can actually get value from it. He's really not floating the resources for that upgrade right now. Oh, man. To see now getting rushed. Not the craziest position in the sense that it doesn't really protect the wood line. We need to see that Scorpion come over for the defense, and, well, we still have the second wood line, so it is okay, <laughs> but economy... Not a big advantage for Yo. I, I mean, the fact that Yo has had to send his Elephant Archer home, Battle? that was his starting Castle Age attack, okay? <laughs> his starting Castle Age attack has now come home. <laughs> that tells you how momentum is really flowing for him currently. Mm. And the thing that Yo does a really good job of, we saw it in game one, control areas with aggression, forward castle. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have the stone for a castle. Tato's about to have the stone for a Actually, Mangano, he cancelled his Scorpion there, apparently, and that means the scout becomes a bit more efficient. Tato, how is he dancing against this one? Not too much. Yeah, just having the scout there for Tato. Mm -hmm. He does have a knight somewhere. Uh, Well-played Elephant Archer. Tato is being annoying with the crossbow. Tato's trying to take the fight through the center now, yeah. apparently. Oh, one relic for Yo only, and now builds the castle. Oh my, no, 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 delete it, delete it, delete it, delete elephant, it, delete elephant. it, delete it. Oh my god, Yo could have killed that. I think he right clicked the tower. Yeah, if he would have right clicked that castle in that moment, yeah, it yeah. would have been one shot. With, with hill advantage, yeah, right? Yeah, it would have been, been the gone. Kill. And a Byzantine castle too, which is going to have so much value for Tato now that it'll complete. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And great job from Tato to stabilize here. The food count's pretty low for him, but he will have a Byzantine castle to protect his gold. He's got lots of ranged army, and he has time to fix his economy. It's crazy how... We didn't see a single like proper connected wall. Like this is the longest connected, like two yeah. palisades here, yeah. some around the towers, but <coughs> both players are playing so open. Uh, yeah, and it's it's two fishing ships, right? Like some of these games it's it's like ten fishing ships for one guy and then zero for the other and Oh goodness, Tato almost takes out his own making <laughs> now there. And uh, well unfortunately for him, he doesn't have a monk anymore to get a conversion. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, it was actually Yo almost took out its own mega. Oh, my apologies. Tat is going to kill this siege here. Mm -hmm. And he could, if he had the stone, he could make another castle in the middle. Yeah. Just, yeah. just take the berries, take control, up, or go for a TC. Gets the berries that way. And fishing ship count is so low because neither player went for galleys early on or fire galleys early on. That's why we had more fishing ships and fished the pawns empty so much earlier, right? And that's why... You aren't producing them anymore that late. Atonement to convert enemy monks. There weren't even that many monks for Yo. Tato researched it, forcing Yo to delete a monk. Mm. Yo has lost all control, and this is where I worry for the Dravidians, because they don't have a crazy tech switch. It's just infantry archer? Elephant archers? Scum. Question mark? Scums a bit, right, but he has fletching, yeah. nothing else. In the long run, you have... Bombard cannons, but it isn't really on stone. None it looks really good for Tato. 
Tato's macro isn't wowing me with eight on food. It's actually lower than the last time I looked. However, oh my goodness. That was something that wowed me. Yeah, that was <laughs> that wowed me too. <laughs> um, but I think wow. a lot of his food villagers were actually the Berryvilles. I think that's underrated. Um, you do want to farm, mm -hmm. but this doesn't take a lot of focus. Yeah, yeah. So just grabbing villagers and placing a mill in the middle, it gives you food income, and you can focus more on your army control. And just one random waypoint, queue up 10 villagers. Look at this micro from Yo. He pulled the ship away. Oh, but, could be oh, oh! but he got in too, too quickly again. Oh, no way. And now who's winning that fight? 100 HP against 100 HP. Well, it's a Byzantine fire now. Does that attack faster? Mm, oh, I don't <laughs> I, I would say no. It used to be a Dravidian fire. I imagine it still is the Dravidian stats. There's a conversion. That Ooh. is a conversion for Tato. Gets the relic with that. At least oh, two man. for him at one point. Uh, okay. Left hand side as well. I know it's wild. But I think Yo can see the direction this game is going, and this area screams forward castle. Is that too crazy for Yo? The the ugly thing is, look at how the berries are aligned. Like this is like really kind of blocking him yeah. from getting a good castle there, yeah. right? It's one tiny area where the skirms are now squeezing through. Ooh. Like you can easily run into like an ugly mangonel denying your castle there. You could also though place it and easily just place like two or three palisades and then knights or cataphracts can't deny it. But I guess it's more so siege and monks from Tato. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lose that mangonel. Yeah, there's just no way you can push that if you're Yo. Yo commits to longer castle age. Look at the upgrades. Oh, wow. He is starting to make skirms though, and we still haven't seen a lot from Tato uh, army-wise after he lost his range units to the mangonel, so... Dravidian skirms are no joke, okay? Uh, I. Talk a little smack about the Dravidians here or there, and, and maybe some of it's deserved, and maybe some of it's biased. Oh, oh, but the firing oh, oh. speed is crazy. Ooh, how does, like, Mr. Yo, what is happening oh. here? Why is he moving in here? Saw the mangonel! It's so low now. It's possible because of the shape of the wood line, he clicked them a certain direction, and they, they went away he wasn't expecting. But into the TC he goes. Oh, mangonel defense now will be tricky. We have the monk around as well. Do we see some conversions? Let's see how Tedo tries to maneuver this one. Macros behind this, obviously, and oh, wasn't looking because he macroed at home. Yeah, and that, that's the problem with these types of aggressive plays. But I still think you've got to do it if your Tato kills a skirm there. Okay. Does he cycle through his TCs to produce villagers? Uh, he does both. I believe. Okay, okay. Angle, ground attack, oh, moves in there. Was so oh, dirty. but survives. You, use a crossbow, Tato. Use a crossbow. Monks now for the conversion. Skirms are diving. Get some good shots in. Tato can't be unhappy. And he, he gets converted the conversion. it! Gets the kill! He converted it! So now he's got another one. And this is bad enough for Yo, where it might just be a GG call soon. But we are talking about the guy who played on a significant portion of the previous game. Tato with what would be back to back victories if he can continue this. But Yo clicks up to him. How? With what? With what? Yes. <laughs> two, two monks, two skirms. That's wild. I mean, he saw the resources. Mm -hmm. He needs a way back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's going to give himself a shot here. Castle behind all this for Yo. Anytime he moves forward with Siege, mm -hmm. it will be converted. Anytime he tries to move out with Skirmishers, it could be hit by the Siege as well. It's just a tricky spot to be in. Now, Mr. Yo tries to return the favor here with Mangano kills, but it's simply like Tato also with an outpost. He will see till the main to see. Ha uh, Yo's macro has been impressive here. Mm -hmm. It's been really impressive. I was not expecting the imp click after all of that, right? It's, it's nice, right? 30 farmers there, quite a bit. Idle TC, certainly on his side. But still, it doesn't look like he had that much idle TC if he's at 111 builds. Yeah, I'm just... I'm trying to think of ideas. It has to be skirms. There's no other unit that you can really go for yeah. that yeah. has any I good I bonus. I think it's bracer skirms, and then you kind of have to be ready for the text which the Tato is doing. Like yeah. Razor Skirms opening it's like up helps. to 25 and then you need to quickly switch it up, which is cheaper as well. Yeah, that's true. There are the ranges. A minute away from Imp. Tato also on the way to Imp. Cheaper for Byzantines. Not on stone anymore. Yeah, that's true. Um, I feel like there's not a ton of neutral stone on this map too, which is kind of interesting. Castles really matter a lot here. Mm -hmm. Still repairing that town center. He's Eight keeping it up. Just Oh, converted knight. Um. Can we get a zip? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're standing there like, mm. what? <laughs> uh. Didn't realize that there was a conversion, maybe. 
they thought they were on the same team. <laughs> uh, I have a memory of when I was a kid that just hit me. I haven't thought of this in like 20 years, playing laser tag. <laughs> and I'm back up next to somebody. And I'm like, I'm like, How many they have left? And he's like, seven. I was like, what? You know? Like, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, light cap for Tato. I mean, Castlage light cap should be pretty good here against the Skirms. And uh, that's all Yo's going to have for the time being. He is going to click crossbowman. That, that's decent enough, right? It's good against the light cap. Still. He's going to have to work really hard here, despite his population being 144. Again, maybe there's some out-of-the-box things that the Dravidians can pull off here that I haven't thought of. Attack. Oh, Sick. Potato again. And those Light Cap, they have the second armor already, right? Yeah. So they will deal with those skirmishes quite yeah. easily. Mr. Yo, although we see him constantly lose, he's at pop 140 somehow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, the guy just doesn't die, right? Like, if you want a series, if you want someone to get 3-0'd, not that Yo does this a lot, but if you want someone to get 3 out and still produce three great games, you probably want to pick Yo on the other yeah, side, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. when Yo loses, it's always a fight. When he wins, it's always with something creative. One of the most enjoyable players to watch in our scene. Absolutely. And his, his personality is also super mm -hmm. enjoyable, too, which we get to see more and more at NAC4, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's so nice. That Yurumi is doing work. I really love his kind of humor as well. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> his trash talk is really solid. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's similar to Doubt, where he is great with trash talk with very little words. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah, 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 yeah like, true. we casters, we, we try and build up a story to trash talk somebody. Do we? Well, I do. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it, it loses its humor after 10 words, yeah. so. I, I used to uh, build up a hype story once where I was... No. I, 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 <laughs> I knew a joke was coming. <laughs> I knew a joke was coming. All right, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. 150 population for Yo. 160 population for Tato. Um, none of the relics, or sorry, only one of the relics has been collected around the ponds, or I can't do math. Well, anyways, it's five relics in total. They've collected two. W one in the middle, one from the ponds is what I was thinking, but I don't see the one on the left, so I'm confused. But either way, it's one to one with the relics. Tato hasn't really gone for the kill here. I know in the previous game, you're saying he's setting up for late game with Malay. Mm -hmm. I, he, he does get some valuable kills here, but he's really taking his time here with this. He goes for Hussar, but Yo is actually not on Skirms anymore. It's yep. full Arbalest play, yep. but that will be a lot of death and it's just, oh, that's a great find for Tato. I think for Tato, he's macroing. He went from no wheelbarrow even mm -hmm. at 130 vils to having wheelbarrow and handcart now. Uh, the Hussars are going to be able to pick Yo apart from the sides, and then Tato will likely just try and use skirmishers in the middle to hold against the Arbalest. Mm -hmm. So, I expect more waves of blue to be on the left and the right from Tato. That denial at the top is just so nice for him as well. And yep. he'll get more villager kills as well. That's just really, really nice for him. But Yo, well, he's not short on villagers. That's true. And he's still creating villagers. And his population's nice. You're not going to see a player like Yo want to resign unless they hit 100 pop. Yeah. Well, and even then, as we saw, <laughs> <laughs> he tries to get back to 105 pop. Yeah, absolutely. And Tato sees it's a main composition of Arbalest, so getting Ballistics now, getting Bracer. He was behind on a lot of these upgrades, mm -hmm. but it's cheap for Byzantines to be able to make these skirmishers. And Yo might be misjudging Tato's economy, looking at the upgrades, right? He sees no Bracer, no Ballistics, no Chemistry. Yep. But Tato actually sitting at 146 villages, he no just needs a bit more time. Yeah, I think Tato's not only at a point where he'll be at 200 pop, but he will be at a consistent 200 pop for the rest of this game. His Q is perfect now. Especially with 146 villagers, as Tato denies the castle. Not sure the percentage on that castle. You've got to think it will eventually go up 60% there. But uh, just painful losses for Yo. And again, you're going to see another push from Tato now. Tato will go through the middle with the skirmishers because he sees the arbs are out of position. Trebs are going for the TC and Siege Workshop there, and Yo just continues to lose ground. Mm -hmm. Hassas are going for more raids. Somebody is chasing this away. And. Oh? It is tricky to come up with the perfect army composition for Mr. Yo here. It feels like maybe designed around Urumi Swordsman. But soon we're down to one castle. Yeah, Urumi's versus Cataphracts would be kind of fun to see. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to end up seeing that though. Yo, like you said, not going to have his castles. And it's Arbalester bust for him right now. And those Arbalester dying get skirmishers. Ay, 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 ay. Hassa's finding more kills today against the villagers. Skirmishers are chasing this one away. Now the berry's working against Tato here. Otherwise, he would chase those Arbalest down a bit better. Can now yeah, basically push them back to the yeah. archer ranges. 
Yeah, Dio is going to lose his castle. Does have bomber cannons though. Does still have resources coming in. And Dio not happy with this game as you can see here, but has to tap out. Tato takes it to one lead. Yeah, seriously well played from Tato. It really felt like Yo had created the type of chaos he was looking for at mm -hmm. the start of that game, but he didn't kill much, right? Like he killed some fishing ships, mm -hmm. but he didn't have many of his own for a while. And he denied the gold from Tato temporarily, but Tato just calmly moved to another gold. Mm -hmm. And then when he needed to, got his main gold back, right? There was never a killer blow there from Yo. And uh, I, I do think in some ways, like, it's just a tricky save the Dravidians, right? Because all your bonuses allow you to get that early lead mm -hmm. and that early push. But then the Civ also holds you back because you don't get knights and you can't really like apply the killer blow to someone. Yeah, in the yeah. Castle. It feels like you need to have some form of an advantage going to Castle Eight already. And Mr. Yo, well, he got a lot of map control. He got a good job there getting contest into the pawns. Would have obviously loved to see a fire galley a bit earlier to the left hand side. But tricky to see, right? There was so much going on at the same time. And it just feels like if you are on relatively even footage going into the mid-game, Davidians, missing oomph. Yeah, missing oomph is the right way to say it. Arabia is the remaining home map for Yo. Mm -hmm. You do have the option to pick the other map, which would be Tato's home map, but I'd be shocked if Yo does that. Yeah, he doesn't like fortified clearing arena maps. He banned uh, Hippo Arena here in this draft as well. So... Yeah, would, would rather try to avoid it. Look at the sibs remaining for you. Japanese, Tatars, Tatars and Burmese. Ugly. None what? of those civilizations get me excited for Arabia or for Fortified Clearing. I could see him playing Tatars on Arabia. Um, or maybe Burmese if he thinks he's going to be up against Aztecs. I think Japanese to counter. Like, that's the Viper approach as well. Yeah. Right? I think that's what he did I mean, against Nikov. No, no, no. He tried it against Veleza. I think he played it twice, Japanese. Oh, earlier today. I must have missed that one then. Uh, that's the case. I think day one and day three he played Japanese. Gotcha. I remember uh, Viper Veleza. Uh, I remember Viper played very well with the Japanese, but Aztecs ended up shining there. Mm -hmm. But you know, when I saw Japanese, I thought it was a pick for Kawasan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but Japanese and Dravidians are very similar. Yo had used the Dravidians prior against Veleza and mm -hmm. uh, had made it work. So I guess we'll find out. But... To win two games with Japanese Tataris Burmese feels like a tough task right now for Yo, draft-wise. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, okay, so here's the interesting thing. I think Burmese match up nicer against Aztecs than a lot of other civs do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they are the best counter to the Aztecs or anything, but they match up somewhat nicely. Yeah, yeah. If you're Aztecs, is Burmese good enough where you fear the Burmese pick? as like some type of a counter to you, so you just switch your whole plan and go Mongols. Because Mongols aren't bad on Arabia. Mm -hmm. Mongols wouldn't necessarily be bad for ja against Japanese either. But again, it's like, do Aztecs have to fear the Burmese? I, I think you just want to avoid Japanese and Burmese with Aztecs. So I think Mongols feel Mongols, ve very reasonable. Okay. Right? You can open Scout Rush, you will have the aggression against Japanese. You can maybe open Archers and can get into Step Lancers. Map control should be yours. And I, I don't mind that situation. And still, you can still fall back on poles. Also, like, if you run into Burmese on Arabia, you kind of know that you're going to win fortified clearing, right? Because Tatars or Japanese don't sound scary at all. Hey, listen. I'm listening. Cav archers, hussars, flaming camels with Tatars. Against poles? I know poles are stronger, okay? But... People are sleeping on flaming camels, man. They really are. It, it just takes too long. Yeah, if we get to dream army compositions, I agree. Yeah. But fortified clearing, the rush distance is shorter. You need to get to Imperial Age. You need a castle. You still need your unique mm. tech as well. Yeah. And yep, yep. then go flaming camels, right? Yeah. Something for Tuesdays. Very fitting. <laughs> but I don't think yeah. in this tournament. Okay. I, I still... Do you remember the game? It was uh, Leary versus MBL... It was on, uh, what was the Red Bull map where you have like kind of like a, uh, those Palisade walls started Red, for you? Uh, Red Bull 4, it was Ring Forest? Ring, like Ring Forest, something like that, yeah. It was uh, Indians at the time. Mm -hmm. Remember their unique unit was the Elephant Archer, so a bit different mm -hmm. than now, yeah. versus Tatars. Amazing game from Leary as the Tatars. He's got Cav Archers, he's got Hussars. 
NBL only had elephant archers, yeah, yeah, yeah. and flaming camels would have destroyed there. Makes me so sad we haven't seen like a big flaming camel moment yeah, yeah, since yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, so true. And that was a great, great set for sure. I remember it. Uh, and it is Mongols against Tatars. So Ooh. we are expecting Burmese versus Poles on fortified clearing. Yeah. And therefore, not picked civilizations are Aztecs for Tato. And Mr. Yo will not play Japanese. Yep, yeah, m which makes sense at this mm -hmm, point. Mm -hmm. So Tato playing as the Mongols brings his boar in nice and early, as both players have done, actually. And Mongols do hunt faster. How, how is that Red Bull holding up? Aha! <laughs> Outstanding again. I was scared for it falling down. No, Tristan! <laughs> Behave. I'm going to push it off the table uh, no, here. <laughs> push it off the camera. Uh, oh. Sorry, okay, whatever. They're really paying close attention to that. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting I'm there, and then it's like, I get all self-conscious because I'm just like in this weird position. Did I fix your hair a bit? No, it's not as bad as Vipers was earlier, so it's fine. Oh, he, no, 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 sorry. And I, I'm not, that's not a... I, I didn't want to go there, That's but not a... No, he had his headset like this. Okay. That's what his headset looked like. And I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to look at it at all times. Yeah, yeah, anyways. Uh, is he still here? He must be. He plays next, I think, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, Hera against Viper next. Hallelujah. That's pretty hype. Yep, mm -hmm. hallelujah to that indeed. So, Mongols looking for the early advantage. Mm -hmm. I do really like the Tatars mid-game here. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the hill bonus uh, is always helpful, obviously. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, even their few late transitions feel a little bit easier mm -hmm. than the Mongols because you have all the extra food on the pigs. So I think Yo will try and match whatever strategy Tata's going for. If he believes Tata's going for scouts, he might just open up to go for scouts himself and just adapt from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, will be, will be certainly interesting. If we think about, like, late game comments, what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> if, we, if we think about late game <laughs> are, are, are we pushing in the deer right now? Better than doubt, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, other direction, so Tristan. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is this is good. Barracks coming up here for Yo. <laughs> this is good, he said. <laughs> and the tear was dropping. <laughs> uh, Yo is a minute behind Tato, so Tato's got to use that minute mm. to his advantage here, even with the starting scout, which I'm looking for, and it is on the way. So he will see that pretty easily with the Mongols. Yo is actually going to go Militia, though. Not expected here from me. By the way, we obviously saw Dash and Dave, which aren't the biggest pe people ever, yeah. also being like really small here, right? And I wanted to make some jokes, but I'm not really making jokes about little people anymore. Yeah. After I heard it's a growing problem. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I was wondering where you're going with that after the first part of the joke, so well played. You're not you're not too tall either, Nilly, but you're not as small. Well, uh, uh, <sighs> Do I just have longer legs than you? You have a very large torso, apparently. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, a sitting giant. Sitting giant, yeah, yeah, I see that. Loom on the way for Tata. Look at that. Didn't go with Loom, so we could get up a little bit faster. I like that play with the Mongols. Mm -hmm. I think it's the first we've actually seen that today. And Tata's going to be going scouts, but he does know the militia are on the way. Yo should be able to click the Man-at-Arms upgrade, and Yo's got some decisions to make here because I've seen Yo add a Spearman before the Man-at-Arms upgrade here, but if you do that, maybe... You know, you're not able to get the damage done to the villagers early enough with the man-at-arms. Mm -hmm. Walls, everything in. No farm upgrade and starts farming. Maybe he stretched himself too thin there. Yeah, possibly. Hmm. Tato playing no games here. I mean, he is playing a game, but I think you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And he is going to... <laughs> He's going to wall in his woodland. I'm laughing because Yo just hung out underneath the town center, took barely any damage. Mm -hmm. And he is going for man-at-arms, and Tato could lose villagers. He's very close to the TC, but the villagers on the other side of the stable especially. I think he just needs to palisade, yeah, yeah, exactly, next to the barrack there, and should be fine. The other one, it's too close to the town center. Like, how can you commit there? It's a land. There's no ping. Just I, yeah, try. It's still, like, six range of the town center. Like, you will eat at least three, four volleys. The alternative is attacking nothing, and oh, no! Tato's gonna find the villagers. Now he's close to the town center, Nilly. Will he go for the attack? Well, scouts are a bit more mobile, and oh. all he has also has to give it up. You're right. Imagine if that was man at arms, there would have been no mm -hmm, chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quick wall is needed here for Yo on the other wood line, which is very awkward, I have to say. Also, pretty inefficient in the long term. Mm -hmm. And so he just doesn't wall. <laughs> and Tato knows it's because the spearman's on the way. So good play here from Yo. 
Tata with home has an archer and a skirmisher on the way. So he will eventually deal with the man at arms. But again, at this point, the Mongol advantage of the faster hunt is gone. Mm -hmm. And the Tatars, food on the sheep still there. Mm -hmm. And they're both going into farming eco. So I think you can give the economic advantage from here on out to the Tatars. Feels a bit like it, right? Like, um, not having the eco upgrade. Okay, wood line, uh, wood upgrade now being equalized. And Tato, he sends his scout back. And that's actually something he taught me, right? Uh, old Neely always wanted to, like, okay, I will try to defend with one archer, four scouts, I'm trying to get something done, and I, I lose the four scouts there because, like, obviously macro problem, right? I'm, I'm You're a caster. I, 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 I'm a caster, right? Yeah. And he told me, Neely, make the game easy for you. It is so much better for him to use those scouts, use some archers, get the clear up, and then go for the counter attack and play a way more controlled game than trying to do three things at the same time. Now, I'm curious to see what Yo does in this position because he'll see that, and he can use this time to wall, mm -hmm. and he can use this time to assess the situation. The best players are going to use that. Now he's like, fight me. He's like, fine, you want to come home and kill me? Come home and kill me. And now he doesn't see the scouts there. He knows the scouts might be coming back forward. Uh, but if the scouts were to be seen again, or any force that could actually engage against that Nilly, he probably would just run right to the northern corner just to buy some time. But Tatos didn't clear that. Tatos coming forward now. He ignores it. One yeah. spearman, one villager repairing there. Fletching pretty far away. Blacksmith only at 20% or something. Archers are coming there. Oh, oh, this will be wild for both players. They will both have losses. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Uh, Yo's walls are really awkward. Like, if he had um, an opening between that house and that, that lumber camp that he could run through the back way, I don't know how to describe it, that would be a good way to escape. But there's a chance he'll have to delete, and he could lose multiple villagers there. Tata walling this one off. Still not pretty, right? The village is there, but we're getting fletching. We're getting the skirm yep. defense. Yep. I don't think Yo will find too much damage. Well, this is guaranteed pressure. Exactly. I think you can delete the lumber camp, get That's out so to good. the right side. That's sides. so good. That was really good. Yeah, because deleting the lumber camp is way better than losing the three villagers. He still has another lumber camp. Great walling from Tato, so he can use his skirmishers on the other side of all that. And Yo has to drop a tower against this, because he just doesn't have the army numbers. Yeah, force tower there, something you don't want to do early game. Only two archers, and we don't have fletching on the other side. Scouts are coming in, don't want to take the fight against the spearmen, scaring the scouts away for now. This is intense, right? <clears throat> Tato looking to get his third victory and win this best of five. He seems to be playing very confident in this series, right? And Yo just, just still not allowing Tato to kill anything. And the tower's actually good enough, I think, to hold, but there's going to be one villager down. Oh, that's such a nice one. And yeah, even doesn't want to take more shots from the TC. Knows the archers <laughs> can finish the job. Nice awareness. And those are two villagers relatively exposed on the gold as well. Yeah. Normally, you see scouts here in Yo's position, right? You've got skirms from the enemy. Your base is open. But the His economy is, is simply not there, right? Yeah. Food will now run dry as well. How many farms do you think you can afford? Not as much as Tato, that's for wow. sure. Tato wow. with tons of farming eco. Even getting... Oh, I almost spilled my Red Bull. <laughs> Would have been on camera. Um, even getting bloodlines now. So those five scouts are going to be a bit stronger. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm liking Tato's position more and more. Who opened this one, went out with the skirms, but now back at it again. Feels like, okay, you're not attacking my gold, like that you will turn around and attack my wood line again. Yeah. So annoying. Tato, Tato's not queuing up anything. Yeah. Uh, this this could be market weapons? into step lancers. He canceled blood lines. Yeah, and step lancers are perfect if your opponent's base is open like this. This is ambitious, though. Like, it's still some men at arms, right? Oh, goes for that villager, likely to find another kill here. What a brilliant aggression by Tato. So after this, the KD for the entire game is 3-1. to one. Sick. This whole game has mm -hmm. been insane. Mm -hmm. The KD is 3-1, to 2-0 in the Eco KD. And Tato has also done a better job at creating villagers, so he is ahead by a few now. But How I want to describe Tato here is patient aggression. Right, because he was always in the face of Yo, always threatened the attack, but didn't really dive, didn't lose anything. Yep. And once a villager was exposed, he jumped on it. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, Yo, in a similar sense, right? Yo has been working with much less in this game ever since the start. And he just lost some of his range units there, yeah. right? So he never really forced the engagement either. But Tato seems to be the best at that. Tato's so good at controlling the game with army, whether that's with pulling an army out of position from the enemy or with just doing what you said, Nilly, and killing a few villagers when the opportunity was there. 
but full map control now for Tato, right? We, we see him. He will surround with archers, with scouts. He can decide. Do I go double archer range? Do I go triple archer range? Make something wild happen? Do I go knights? Do I go step lances? Like, so many options here. Obviously, we know, like, Mongols, extra HP on those step lances. Gr crazy good choice. Plus, Tedo obviously loves them, as we know. So, kind of likely that we go into that direction. But, yo, no chance to confirm that. Yeah. But... Remember game one when Yo was just kind of like, okay, I know you're going to sneak the second stable. Okay, you're probably going to do some market shenanigans. Mm -hmm. This is one of Tato's things, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mongol Step Lancers is, is one of Tato's things. So I think Yo's going to know it. Whether or not he can do anything about it, I'm not so sure. He's got two villagers exposed here. Quick walls! Ooh! What? Mr. Yo! Well, that one should die with a little bit of blocking from Tato. And the other one should die at. Oh. Doesn't? He wants to commit. He, he wants to make sure that there's no quick wall, right? Uh, because there could have been a market, there could have been a house, okay. and he wanted to get in with that army. I, I get that though, but I think you've got to kill that bill, Nilly. He's Ma already maybe ahead. split it. I think one village or two scouts Hello. going for the kill, yep. three scouts going for the block could have been an option. Yeah, absolutely. But that's if everything is going 100% correct all the time, right? We expect that because these guys are so good. And Tato's gonna now commit to and, and try and get some kills. And again, Yo still holds. Yeah, and he doesn't want to commit, right? For Tato, it's absolutely brilliant to keep this army alive yeah, yeah. and just know the archers are stuck there. He takes the upgrades. Now that's something that Yo sees. And also this fight, Tato, he wants to commit to maybe one villager kill. And now he moves back to the left hand side, tries to buy more time. Yep, absolutely. Crossbowman will be coming in for Yo. Good resources. He's gonna make a camel as well. He's just now getting Fletching, which I don't think he knew. <laughs> I think he went to go click Vodkin Arrow. Oh. And Tato's controlling the game nicely, Nilly. The thing you have to fear is you have to fear the all-in here because you are behind if you're Yo. Mm -hmm. And Tato's using that. And he's just going to drop the second town center, try and gain a bit of an eco lead. That's one villager moving forward. Is that for a monastery? Because he knows, okay, if I'm going to step lands all-in, it's very likely that you are trying to defend with camels. Well, there's also Crossbowmen yeah. and Tatar's likely want to go cav archers i'm not sure i'd love monastery maybe a siege workshop but i guess we will see he thought better of it the villager is going back yeah okay right. elite skirm instead okay so we'll be lead skirm plus step lancer skirm count at only seven though not super scary yeah really not yo looks like he's gonna get his walls down i don't know how yo does it there's like so many things he that have happened in this game or hasn't happened for him that just hasn't gone his way mm -hmm. And still he's in this game, and that's the struggle when you're up against him. You just can't finish the guy off, and then if you make one mistake, suddenly Yo's going to pounce on you later on in the game. And those camels already losing quite some HP. Not a single armor upgrade, no bloodlines. Those skirms are actually not performing too poorly against those camels. It's true. Yeah, even the extra archers in there, very helpful mm -hmm. to do a bit more damage there. Eight skirmishes only, and we are even attacking for the last upgrade. Elite skirm, both attacks, both armor upgrades. Those crossbows, they won't find a lot of damage. And that's all it seems to be for Yo for the time being. And Yo's just like, man, can I deal with this? <laughs> can I get my walls down? And Tato seems to be patient, as you said, Nilly. Mm -hmm. Happy to control the game here because he knows what he's doing behind all this. That is, uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, own base. Gets another kill there. And Step Lances are so incredibly good at killing buildings here. Not a lot of HP on some of those walls. Crossbow still trying to make something happen. But Skirms are perfect against this. This is really good. Again, just 15 kills for Tato in this game. Seven deaths, though. And his economy's flying now. He's happy to sit here. Archer's on the villagers. Yo, good micro there. I think we caught Tato doing some things at home. Yeah, yeah. Really nice moves there. Uh, very low HP step lens. And now do dives in. It's easier to for Mr. Yo. Yo to defend. And it's just skirmishes. The yeah. damage dealers. Tato dives. Yeah, and I, I feel like you almost have to fight it if you're Yo. You don't have a town center behind this. This is your only army. So engage he does, but that we're going to see the Step Lancers get on top. The Skirms are still in there. Yo will lose all of his crossbowmen here. Again, no second town center for him. This is it for him. He loses the hill. Tatar without the hill. Now it's uh, completely generic elite skirmishes, plus two, plus two, and the crossbows up her battle. Yep. It is Yo, so we expect him to play on a little bit longer here. He's queuing up a knight now. He's got a camel, so I think he will clear this. But man, Tato with a 10 villager lead, third town center already on the way. Yeah. As long as Tato continues to flood the map with army right here, I don't know how Yo stops him. Oh, that raid at the side as well. And Tato, that was like a, a fist pump step lens. Okay, I'll go for three. 
queued up one more and that was it then. <laughs> like, this is full, like, elite skirmish and taboo. Right, yep. and we talked about like Tato. Yeah, we know he can go step lances, he can go the hidden two stable, but he can also just build minimal amount of army and play four TC behind this. Four TC. He just bought the stone. Also, he's gonna go cav archers, and I love that. You research bloodlines for the step lancers and yep. your scouts. Yep. Oh, you have the armor and the attack for the skirms. It applies to the cav archers, yeah. and Mongol cav archers still do fire faster. Yeah. So, like, why not? Why try and 4TC boom and go for some other unit type that you don't have upgrades for yet? Mm -hmm. um, Skirms is going to be needed for the most part in defense, but Cav Archer is an, ec is an excellent choice here from Tazza. Especially against unupgraded knights and camels, right? They, they can't do anything. Yep. Step Lancer, even doing some damage. Those two Skirms just on the hill a bit. And Tato, he knows everything. He, like, that scout alone is so good. Now he just tries to get, pull this army out of position. Five Skirmishes there, and he deals with everything. This period here, this three to four minute period is where Yo has a chance. It's his last chance in this game. Yeah. He has to get some damage done. Especially if Yo spotted that the skirmishers were on the right side, which I guess to the viewers is actually that side, which is very confusing for you. Don't look at the small us here. But, um, you know, maybe Yo feels like there's a window through the middle right now where there's not army. Tato's adding more ranges. Uh, he's actually added... I don't know if he's had those stables. It looks like he even added another stable. But Tato knows... Will Tato be able to defend from this now? He's got resources flying in from this economy. It's crazy. Look at that. Over 4,000 resources collected for him. And he just got the market, so that's 100 stone board, and that is it. Ballistics 55 seconds away. He's coming back with more skirmishes. Oh, a 25 village elite for him. Four town centers. Ballistics is on the way. The TC's positioned in a spot where the crossbowman can't even hit any villagers. Uh, Yo is just looking for damage everywhere, and it feels like there's going to be this big blue blob of army just converging around them in a second. Yeah, and Ew. this is like the, the dream for Tato, right? And he can even trap this army now at the top. Like, this is like, he plays 4TC. Already the next step, right? He thinks, okay, where's your army going? Probably to the right. Well, then let's wall this off as well. Absolutely. Garrison's there, sees a small force. TC will deal with the knight, do the no upgrades. And Yo must feel desperate right now. Anywhere he goes, he can't do damage. The player who isn't investing a lot into the economy should have a pretty big window to do some damage here. But Tato is that far ahead that he's producing more army than Yo while still producing eco from four TCs. Yeah, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. All four TCs were running just a second ago as well. Skirm's now taking that hill, pushing those crossbows away. And that knight, who should be the counter to those skirmishers, will get killed by the cab archers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, and honestly, at a point now where if Yo doesn't have crazy siege or crazy castle drop, it's over. Um, he is going to try and get forward to build the siege workshop. But those crossbowmen are dead. Everything else in the middle isn't going to last very long. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure where that villager's at. It, maybe the Siege Workshop will actually complete, but it's a... Well, I can't do math, but still a 30 villager lead for Tato. I'm expecting that to climb, though. Yeah, not unlikely, right? If you have the, the TC advantage, not really losing too many villagers. That Siege Workshop, it is a desperate attempt. I like it, right? It is a comeback mechanic to have the massive mangonel hits, to maybe have the opponent do a mistake, maybe place a castle incorrectly. But Tato, he knows how far he should be ahead. That's actually unnecessarily aggressive. Yep. And I think it's because he saw the Siege Workshop, but knows it's on its way up. Okay, okay. So yeah. he just yeah. says, okay, oh, yeah. this is a vulnerable area. Let's just, like, block that off. Not to mention that while cab archers are cool, Mangadai are a little bit more fun. <laughs> so, you know, let's just make some Mangadai as quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and all that is getting cleared up. Mangnal won't be out in time. Castle goes up, secures himself the gold, the hill, the wood line. All those villagers are protected as well. Clears all this up. 50 population lead already. Yep. And Yo, not known for resigning early. Mm -hmm. But this but one looks he like to. he has to indeed. Tedo! Takes it 3-1 and keeps his dreams alive to go really high seed for the bracket stage. Guarantees himself a top 8 spot. When I spoke to Jordan, he said Tato 3-1. When I spoke to some others, we had Tato 3-2s and Tato 3-1. It did feel like the majority of the players I spoke to here and even some of the casters gave Tato the edge here. His aggressiveness was crazy this game, but also his resilience against some of Yo's attacks and awkwardness. Well played to him. Yo now is 2-2. Two and two. Oh, so yeah. he had started off the group stage, winning the first two days. Yeah, yeah. And now he has, he's lost the last two days, so it will be interesting. Oh, Donnie's here. Okay, ah, look interesting. <laughs> I was wondering why I saw random photos of Donnie in the production <laughs> Discord earlier. <laughs> they must have been looking for something. That explains <laughs> that. But uh, 
You know, anyways, great series from Tato. What does that make him now? 3-1? 3-1. 3-1, yeah. which is huge. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, high Buchholz because he is now facing someone really good. I think it's likely that we have Tato versus Liri tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, not impossible, but obviously we we'll work see. through all the matchups later on. Strong performance by Tato, right? And lots of people felt like, wow, it is a one-time massive showing from Tato winning his first ever SC tournament, the biggest Age of Empires tournament of all times. Yep. It was like five months ago or something. And now, looking back in form again. Yeah. Can we see the draft one more time production? That'd be fantastic, because I think we saw something in that, or, or there was something that we didn't spot. Okay. Because I'm thinking, yo, he had some picks that were less than ideal, like Tatars and Arabia, not that exciting, mm -hmm. right? He had Japanese and Dravidians really early. Yeah. I think he was expecting one of those to get sniped. Yeah. He, like, double-picked the similar type of civilization because he thought Tato would snipe it. Mm -hmm. Tato then snipes his civilization which was for another type of map. Yeah. And then Yo was like, well, what the crap do I do? How do I use Japanese? How do I use one of my early picks? So we don't know what Tato was initially going to try and snipe, but I think he looked at that and thought, let's give him over picks. Let's give him one additional pick for a map that we're not even going to run into. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, because like the last map was Fortified Clearing, right? And so when we looked at the Arabia options for Yo and the Fortified Clearing options for Yo, we were kind of like... Something's a little off here. Yeah. And it might have been like a, a Chinese for Arabia or Graveyards. Then we had to play Burgundians on Graveyards and left us kind of with Burmese, who was a backup pick to Burgundians. Yeah, typically, exactly. Right? So a bit uh, of a draft victory there for Tato, yeah. at least ahead of the whole series. Yeah. We'll talk to him about that here in a moment. Yeah. Maybe we can keep the draft open for some questioning there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and by the way, folks, don't go anywhere. We have uh, Hera versus the Viper coming up next, so we will still have another series. But first, we'd like to pick the brain of Tato, see what he has to say. Nice. We both Let's go over there. Thing? Let's Why not? Why not? Indeed. Oh, that was a good set for Tato. And yeah, he's already smiling there and yeah, also giving us the nod. There's one mission. <coughs> oh, like T90 is so nice to me. I will give you the middle. Middle is the worst position. It's always like the, mm, <laughs> mm, or you are you're talking, no, you are talking. But I just, I just thanks uh, for giving it to me. Just, <laughs> you're welcome. Anyways, uh, Tato, congratulations. Thank we just you. talked you up a little bit. You heard some of our comments, but you're now three and one in the groups. Uh, how are you feeling? Obviously, you knew Yo and how good of an opponent he is. You guys are so close in results. It's pretty much 50-50 over the last like five or six years. So yeah. again, give us your thoughts on how the series went and being 3-1 right now. Mm, Joe is always super hard, but I had doubt helping me earlier with some uh, strategies. And we, I tested them with Jordan, like the, the Malay. I actually expected uh, Mr. Joe to be person, but he won it, so. Ooh. It can uh, screw me over a little bit because I think against Persian it will have been much better. Mm -hmm. Against Khmer, Dras wasn't that effective, but uh, still, I think it worked out. I guess I was a bit lucky in that game actually because he had the hole, but I not sure how the economy was mm -hmm. in that, at that point. Was probably slightly ahead. Game number one, obviously, Burgundians, you gave that to him. Did you think he would use it on fortified clearing or did you expect it on graveyards? Uh, when I drafted, I expected him for 45 clearing, mm -hmm. but after all the draft and see the, uh, looking at the maps, uh, this was an option. Okay. Yeah, because he likes Burmese on 45 clearing, yeah. and uh, it was one of the options. Because he, I think Ivan is a Arabia Steve as well, so he can uh, have to adjust a little bit there. Were you surprised that he got his walls down as quickly as he did and that your investment in the scouts didn't do anything? Mm, At least in Feudal Age, that I is. I think both of our maps were fairly easy to wall, I will say. Like, usually dry graveyards is uh, a bit harder, mm -hmm. but I, I had the good map, and I guess, like, he had also, and it kind of uh, screwed a little bit my strategy there. Yeah, and the scouts didn't really find the damage, and then in Karshage, he went for light cap. And Mamelukes, they were, they were strong at some point, right? They were strong. The issue is that he has so much production that I, keep, I will never be able to destroy... Uh, the traps, right? He will always throw me custom learn non stop. Yep. And he also has five relics, so he got a lot of uh, food income. Mm -hmm. So it was really hard. I think he, he played that one quite solid. So you, you already told us Malay initially a plan with the early draw to counter the Persians who were going up for the dock. You did deny the dock. Obviously, you got in with the hole, which I think did help your situation there. But uh, did you have, did, did any of your approach change 
based on like what you initially thought you were going to do with Malay, uh, what you had to do with Malay, based on the maps? Because we noticed you guys were like really close together, and a lot yeah. of the hills and resources were kind of stuck between you. Uh, I had that because obviously, like he didn't have um, a spin camera. The wind was insta there, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I had yeah. to, I had to force, the, like, drop the tower and just react to that. Otherwise, I think I will buy more time if it was another any other ship, and I will probably do something different. Okay, gotcha. Interesting. And then, well, you got to the Arbalas ball, right? Quite nicely, right? As you said, the hole helped you quite a bit. You had the two crossbows, uh, crossbows um, groups, taking him off wood. Must have felt good to get, like, also the the castle up there to control the top area with all the three golds. Yeah, yeah, that castle was super important also because that allowed me to move forward with my army because I didn't have to protect my traps. Mm -hmm. And it gave me a lot of map control. So, yeah, I think after the whole and my castle this time was faster. So I was, I think I felt like under control of the game mm -hmm. after, like in my castle, it already felt like I was... What happened good. here? You walled off the sheep? Yes. <laughs> I was like, I cannot control the ship, but then <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was not going to work, but it worked. I guess I was a bit lucky. <laughs> I was happy with that. So did you n expect Yo to go forward here? Because he had done that uh, set previous against Veleza. I'm not sure if you saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, th I felt like it was an option, and then I was scouting his base, and I saw like a oh, uh, forward. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> How I lure that. No, I, I just did the same reaction again. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't notice. Uh, the funny part of the demo is that I did build a demo when my army was on the corner. Ah. Uh, I created it like, okay, I will go there if mm -hmm. he chase, and it worked out, actually. Nice. <laughs> I thought he, wa he saw the flag and he wasn't going to be close to the shoreline, but... <laughs> uh, but, like, you had some level of expected that forward, though? Yes, yes. You did, okay. Yeah, and when I saw, as I said, like, there was a house close to his wood line that he was a bit forward. Mm -hmm. Ah, and I said, okay, he's coming forward for sure. Interesting, because we saw that you didn't see a barracks, and our caster brains were like, oh, well, he doesn't see a barracks. He doesn't see anything out of the ordinary, but that house was the giveaway. Yeah, yeah like, I thought he was going to do like barrack at home. So I was scouting for the barrack, but I didn't find it. But then I saw the house a bit forward. So yeah, I expected him to go forward. Mm -hmm. But then you were off gold. Why, what made you decide that you go on stone first instead of gold first? Uh, because if. He will tower me all my wood lines, I will be on trouble. So first is secure the wood, and then I will... Like, my immediate resources that my first, uh, like, source is wood, right? I need wood, then I will secure that. I need a stone for that. And then I, after I, my wood is secure, I will go for the gold. I needed gold because I was doing skimmies anyways. Mm -hmm. So gold was more like a long-term plan. Nice. And then Arabia, you had Mongols as an option, and you also had the other shift was... Aztecs. Aztecs. Why did you go for Mongols? Uh, I felt like the civilization he had there was... Like, he had Tatars and Japanese as an option. Mm -hmm. So I felt like Mongols will be really good about against both of them. Mm -hmm. and also, like, having the, um, the faster uptime will help me there. And I think, like, as I said, in this case, with the hand, you have a lot of food, so I, my opening was super smooth, and I, th I, I felt like I was in the control the whole game. Like yep. no we issues. felt the same. It was really, really well executed. And maybe we can throw back to the draft again, and you can just walk us through your thought process there, if you want to share, obviously. I know that people would like to keep that a bit safe for themselves as well, because yeah. we didn't 100% understand why the Chinese snipe happened, but we loved the outcome. Okay. Where is the draft? <laughs> okay, there. <laughs> uh, okay, so basically it's snipe Chinese, or you want to go through all of it? No, just explain the Chinese snipe. Okay, so I feel like Burgundian wasn't going to be a threat on fortified clearing. No threat for you? Like for Poles? Uh, I would say that it's mm, winnable. Okay. But Chinese, I think, is way stronger on Arabia. Okay. Uh, I feel like I will be in, in worse position starting the game against Chinese with the civilization I had that against Burgundians on Fortified Clear. Did, did the Chinese snipe have anything to do with the fact that Yo had like Dravidians, Japanese, two civs that do similar things? The reason I say that is because near the end there, I looked at Yo's civs and I was like, it felt like he had one extra, right? Like Dravidians, more of a Kawasan pick or Frigid Lake pick, Japanese the same, 
but he had Khmer, Dravidians, Japanese. And then yeah, yeah. when it came to the final two maps, I was just like, Ugh, it doesn't feel like this was part of his plan. Yeah, I agree. I think also like the fact that he could have um, used Borgani as a fortified clean and then Khmer on Arabia and then it's get Japanese on free. So it, yeah, so it was less awkward for him on some of the other maps, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like, so, like he had Burmese at the, at the last pick, and I felt like he liked them. So I was okay, I will leave you with Burgundians, and you can choose between those two. And then I realized that Burgundians and Dry Grevias is an option, <laughs> and <laughs> it worked quite well for him. <laughs> well, said that is coming up after this one will be Ooh. the Viper against Terra, who is waving right now. So <laughs> maybe someone could uh, go and help him out a bit um, from either production or Debbie could help out. Um, what is your prediction there, Hera against Viper? Hmm. Hera is playing like sick. Uh, but Viper, like, he was a bit shaky in the first series. But after that, I think he has stepped it up a little bit. Um, it's tricky. I would say last time, like Viper and Hera faced on nine billion star, Viper won. Mm -hmm. Wallots, right? It was. Wallots. Yeah, it was a very different map pool. Yeah, 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 way well, better for Viper. Yeah, 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 yeah. but but it, that's true. Yeah. Mm, I mean, Hera might be relaxed a little bit as well because he's really like almost. Well, he's not compared to one, no. No, no, he's far from it. He's three zero. He can go three two. Two two two. Right, he he could get like. Fourth, he wins fourth. Today, basically, he's top one. Oh, so yeah, man. No, he also can get overtaken because his Buchholz is really bad. Look, uh, at, look at that. He only has five Buchholz right now. True. So technically, he could win today, end up with four one, but not a lot of Buchholz. But if he wins today, he will get a lot of Buchholz out, right? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Buchholz is just like he gets two Buchholz from Viper, yeah, yeah. no matter like if he wins. True, true. Well, I, th I will say three to Viper. 3 2 Viper. Today. Okay. You will get the spicy there as well on the top. Yeah, just imagine Viper winning, then we have four people with 3 1 Yikes. at the top. Then tomorrow is the absolute decider who is top two and advances to the bracket. Maybe we can take a look another time at the bracket and how important this is. Obviously, there will be endless amount of uh, permutations, and we will scratch our heads at this night who needs to win against whom to place where. But obviously, tomorrow, the last day of the group stage, bottom two are out. So far, no one confirmed. Even ACCM can still make it, although he's 0-4. He can Six. have a three-way tie with Winchester and Jordan as well. And, well, lots of stuff to happen there for tomorrow. Thank you so much, Teddo, for your great intel and you. for your great set. Thank you. It was really entertaining.